Let's go ahead. Uh, did you go 10-2 favoring Sork for Shadowheart? Or 6-6? Six, six? Uh, no, I went 7-5. Uh, and the reason is, um, as a uh, Oath of the Ancients, you, uh, I think the 7-5 is a better pick. Uh, is 10-2, is like, you're talking about Paladin 2, Sork 10? I don't see that very often, because it denies your aura. Um, I, I see that with, um, with the Bards. Uh, a little bit more. If you're playing a sword bard with two levels of paladin, um, I see the 10-2 split there. For Sork, I see 6-6 six, six is much more common, but uh, unless you're playing Oath of the Ancients, and the reason is Oath of the Ancients gets the amazing aura of warding at level 7. So if you're going Ancients, I think a 7-5 split is stronger. If you're going anything else, you go 6-6. Six, six. And to be fair, um, Oath of Vengeance is pretty probably the stronger like min maxi oath um especially if you're looking to deal damage if you're going uh if you want to go a dual wield great weapon mastery paladin you're probably going ancients and then or sorry you're going vengeance and then you can stop at six you just get your aura protection and then you want to put as much into sork as you can just to get extra spell slots uh but with oath of the ancients the uh the aura of warding is so excellent that going up to seven i think is very justified uh you don't lose spell level um you just get slightly fewer spell slots that way so i think i think that's the stronger play um but yeah it depends on exactly uh what you're doing with your paladin yeah um and doing the warlock thing uh is less good now that you don't get to tr stack a third extra attack from the warlock stuff but you can still use it as a way to um use use just a single attribute to focus everything into charisma because your warlock, I uh, can't remember what it's called, Pact of the Blade or whatever, will let you use your charisma to attack. But the thing is, strength potions exist. So, like, Shadowheart only has a strength of eight, but she's just chugged a potion of heal giant strength. And honestly, I've got five cloud giant strengths, and we can get more. Five cloud giant strengths is probably enough for the end of the game uh, with the strength 27. So, yeah, she did, you know, it's fine. Anywho, your honor mode guide helped improve my early game. Nice! Yeah, I really enjoyed it. I don't know if I'll make a, a an, an Act 2. I'm taking notes as I'm going through Act 2 with my Honor Mode playthroughs, so we'll see. But anyway, let's uh, let's walk into this. Actually, Asterion, go through there. You have advantage on perception checks from your main hand weapon. Because this, this is just me or this place scream traps. And yet, and yet, oh. Rose. Uh, we've read a million times that book. This crumbling journal. That might be interesting. I was still a supplicant when I came face to face with him, masked in gold, his skin fine and worn as parchment. Jurgle, the Death Keeper, the end of everything. I asked what he needed of me. He asked a simple question What is the worth of a single mortal's life? Now, I've long suspected that one of the truths behind Withers might be that he's Jurgle. I had a few other theories going on, but him being Jurgle was always a possibility, or or perhaps at least a, a devotee of Jurgle. That's entirely possible, you know, just someone who made himself undead. But it feels like it's... But he's got so much power over life and death, right? That's like... It's a little suspicious, and of course, the first thing he did when we first met him way back in Act 1 in the Rune Temple is asked, what is the worth of a single mortal's life? I knew not how to respond, and said as much. As such, he seemed nonplussed, I, neither disappointed nor pleased. I fell to my knees in respect for his awesome power. This garnered no reaction. There I stayed, trembling with an emotion I could not name. And when I stood again, the final scribe was gone. Reminds me of a quote from, uh, quote from Planescape Torment. I can't believe I still haven't played that game. Like, I feel like like such a sinner. Case file number 846. Baldur's Gate versus Flynn Silver. I don't know if we've run into that name before. Case for prosecution. Master Sl Silver did, with forethought and without malice, kill William Lister and Simon Simi Trent at their home as part of an ungodly ritual to honor the dead three, or one of the dead three, the gods Bane, Baal, or Merkel. Case for the defense. I don't know nothing about any gods. All I know is Bill and Simmy were trying to cut me out of our deal, and they got what they had coming. Those symbols and stuff, how their guts got arranged, I don't know nothing. Verdict, guilty. Sentence, death. Commuted to banishment so as to not anger higher powers. The unclaimed. Oh, no, I think we've seen this as well. Yeah. 
So really, I, I, we ended last stream in front of this door because I thought it might be leading to a bigger dungeon. And no, there wasn't a single perception check trigger, so I don't think there's anything hidden in there. All right, that's fine. Let's go find uh, Cazador's place. Flowers, every color of the rainbow. Oh yeah, the fight out here. Yeah. The girl trying to res her brother. So let's keep, let's just make the little circle here. See who else we run into in this graveyard. Hello, Druna. Oh, I'm leading with the stair, and it's not what I meant necessarily. Flowers in her hair, not here. Not Isn't there a formula used in justice system to judge the value of particular human life, corporate man, solar case, or something? Yeah, I think maybe. I mean, certainly people have used it. Gor I'm sorry, the Gorion mausoleum key. Gorion. So for those of you who haven't played through Baldur's Gate 1, Gorion is... Uh, the, the character you play in that game was uh, basically raised. It was the ward of Gorion. Mm, this might be a different one. Lord Gregorian Gorion. Here lies Lord Gregorian Gorion. This is someone else. First High Constable of Baldur's Gate. Someone else. The city's protector. Hello, child. The city deserves better than Enver Gortash and his army of steel puppets. Let the city win, not him. That's oh. curious. A hole? Book of Prayers to Kalemvor, Judge of the Dead. Someone has annotated it with the following. These are a little saccharine in places, but one or two have genuine merit as something more than religious doggerel. Doggerel. Something that actually evokes the complicated feelings of loss and hope for the departed, their well-being, their eternal preservation in some paradise. Now, a lot of times these holes are things that small people can jump through um, if you somehow can't navigate some other puzzle or pick a lock or something, but we'll see. They say that lighting a candle at the mausoleum of Gorion grants the writer a wish. I never was the suspicious sort, or superstitious sort, but desperation makes believers of us all. Here's my wish. Please let me survive. I do not wish to be killed by cultists of any kind. I do not wish to be disappeared in the night or to be crushed beneath the steel shoe of an automaton. Everything seems so strange suddenly. Everyone seems so desperate. I'm alone in this world, and if I don't look after myself, no one will. Maybe you would be willing to help me. How about this? Can I light my own candles? Yeah, random gold offerings. Don't really need the gold coins right now, but I can't not grab them, right? Patrons of our hero. This companion lists, lists and pays special tribute to the citizens of Baldur's Gate who commissioned and paid for the mausoleum spot honoring Gorion. Gorion was a hero and sage of exceptional mind and respectable manner, and under a graying exterior, he harbored a heart that bloomed kind and good and evergreen. Is this supposed to be Gorion? Here lies Lord Gregorian Gorion, first High Constable of Baldur's Gate, the city's protector. I mean, it, it, no. it doesn't make sense. My bones ache. Oof, tell me about it. Wounds, long scarred, throb as if new. I long for the comfort of my pipe and the warmth of the fire, but I cannot stop. Gods, old and new, hear me. Grant me the strength to keep fighting, the courage to carve out a future for my children, and when I die, the peace that comes with knowing that I did all I could. Okay, I'm just going to do a quick little run around, see if there's any little perception checks around here. Oh, a crumbling wall. Also, I did just notice a quest marker. Wonder if this is a back door oh, into something. Good meal. Oh, yeah, would Jahir have a reaction to this place? That's an interesting question. How delicious. So I'm betting we're gonna find the other end of the hole in here. A trap. The hoon! Like that might be a pressure plate there. Well, let's disarm the gargoyle head. Ugh. Remind me to swap armor later before we get into a fight. I mean, it's not like the uh, Graceful Cloth is bad armor to fight with, but we have a better combat armor. This will give us advantage on our dex checks. And 
walk around to the other That's side. Oh, is, where is a pressure plate? Wow! Hang on. Is that not actually trapped? This was highlighted a second ago, was it not? Reminder small. Well, you know what? Actually, I know it's early, but it. What's that? That's a lootable crack tile. But it will be kind of handy because I'll look over in the chat and still see it. I'm going to disarm this head just in case we miss a thing. Um, this looks like a wall that moves. It's like one of those cartoons, right? When you get the, the coloration is slightly different. A key! Yes, let's. I keep trying to right click to stop him from moving, but I'm still holding Alt. It just pings. The curiosity. Anything? No? Uh, not another tripwire over here? I don't know if I trust that, but maybe. Okay, so there's another way in. These. Oh, you know what that crumbling wall is there for? It was if maybe you didn't find Grind's key on the ground. Gives you another way in here. Be careful. There are traps about. Four whole brussled years. Hey, Parduke, thank you. All right, let's dare open the sarcophagus. Oh, strength check. Oh, he made it. Okay. Hood mausoleum golden key. A skeleton with, I think, more stuff on it. Shield plus one. That's actually kind of nice. The legacy of Hoon. Kneel with the weight of all you value at his feet, and he will reveal himself. I don't know how to kneel, but we can stand on there with a lot of weight in our inventory? Oh, I didn't... I was hoping to open the skeleton. The dagger. Huh. This seems so sus. Good to be alive. I don't know how to heal, kneel with all the weight of what I value. Crouch. I got this. Not used to lying low. Hmm. Let's. Pulling a bunch of stuff into our inventory. Drop some gold? Maybe. Oh. Put it in a random spot, but... Hmm. I did yoink the skeleton. That's true. Don't Should I put the skeleton back? I mean, I don't really want to carry it around anyway. Hmm. If anyone has the, um, if anyone knows what to do here, I will, this, this will be fine. I'm not going to mind, mind the spoiler on this one. Maybe you need someone named Neil. That's it. We need to go and rename our character. What to do? Another step forward. I might, I might go ahead and just look up the spoiler in this one, because I'm really curious and I'm not planning on coming back. I'm gonna look it up. bg 3wiki Hoon Mausoleum. Because this is actually really, I'm finding this one kind of interesting, and I want to know. I'm assuming it's extremely minor. <clears throat> At the foot of the sarcophagus in between two columns is a tile, which is highlighted in turn-based mode. Okay, well, is it? 
I mean, I must see it. It's definitely this tile. There you go. We got we got the perception check. I mean, I had noticed the tile ahead of time. You can watch each, walk each of your four party members across the tile to activate it, or place approximately 180 kilograms of weight on the tile to activate it. Maybe I just didn't load. I'm, I mean, we'll try walking everyone across it. I wonder if we throw two more pounds of stuff on Carlac, what might happen? Just out of curiosity. While I'm at it. Hmm. No, that didn't. Okay. So let's try walking everyone across it. How much farther can I go? What's next? Have to keep pushing. I hold on. Was it Asterian and Carlac were both maybe on it at exactly the same time for a moment there? I'm wondering if that did it. Huh. A little weird. Like, because I felt like, okay, I figured out the trigger. Well, let's try to put a bunch of weight on it. But nothing happened. I mean, admittedly, I didn't put it on the ground. I guess I could have put everything in a bag and then put the bag on there. Maybe that would have walked it. It did trigger when us walked in it. So maybe minions, maybe it includes everyone in your party. How weird, though. There's nothing else in the game that, like, operates based on, like, doing something with all four of your party members like that. You know, there's the the, the toll house on Act 1 where two chairs and you, you can sit two party members in it or do other things. But it's like... That, that physically makes sense that there should be something that triggers with two people. I wonder if there's actually something else going on and the wiki doesn't actually have the full solution for it. Because I feel like... I feel like there's, there's, there's more to it than that. Feels a little disappointing. Yeah, it must be weight-based and there just wasn't enough, even though we threw 180 kilograms. On Carlac. I do wonder if we took all that stuff that Carly's got on her and threw it in a bag and then threw that on the ground, if that might have triggered something. Old Diary contains thousands of short entries describing the writers doing in short factual sentences. One entry catches your eye. I was introduced, it was introduced to me as the Emperor. Surprising. But its information was good. Its idea is brilliant. I'll not turn up my nose. A boon to the knights, I think. This is a huge brain. It was literally a big brain move. Oh, we have keys. There you go. Really not the most thrilling of things, but all right. I've got a long road ahead on my way. Hey, Syfax. Well, here I was about to sit down and watch some RimWorld with Quill, and here was online! By the way, just so you know, I will say it's your fault to start a RimWorld again, but really it's a great game. It is such a good game with so much replayability. My mum's down there. I put a candle in the box with her. She never liked the dark. You know, I know this is a crazy thing to say, but this graveyard's kind of bumming me out. That might be worth a look. What, what is? What's glowing? Oh, it's right over here. Dirt mound. Would can be considered theft, though. There's also weirdly a metal pipe. Oh, maybe the white old pipe is what's highlighted. Oh, shit! Someone's buried alive! Oh, and now it's not red! I clicked on the pipe, got the audio clue, now it's not considered, like, theft or weird. Gothric Rillin. <laughs> I thought I was done for. Lady Luke, bless you. Great mustache, my dude. Um, what are you doing down there? Sightseeing. What do you think? I filched the wrong baldy and got myself buried for the trouble. Stone Lord, he calls himself. Oh, it would be really funny if we had um, Minsk with us here. Stone shite, I'll tell him you said that. You. 
<laughs> Staring approves. I mean, I, I shouldn't have filched him. I'll, I'll never do it again. I'll prove it. The stone ship. Lord. Lord. Me with my hall. Take it all. And tell him I'm sorry. Plus one rapier and some random money things. Oh, I don't think we talked to uh, the Mo Montarch again after killing the undead. If you leave a poisoned cake in a park and a child dies from eating said cake, are you responsible for the child's death? Yes. Well, I'm, this is a little dumb. Yes, because you should know a child can't resist temptation. It has nothing to do with a child resisting temptation. You've left poisoned food around. If someone eats the poisoned food, yes, you're responsible. Such a wisdom. Which means you do not even have the excuse of ignorance. Okay. You showed a grieving child the ways of... <laughs> okay, right. Yes, I did. Mm-hmm. Leave these hallowed grounds now. May Kellenvor have mercy on your soul. Excellent hair, though. I approve. I like it. Seems simple enough. My love, you would have been 47 today. We celebrated with cake and ale. We sang your song. We imagined you were there with us and what you'd say. Living without you doesn't hurt any less, but the pains become less harrowing. I adore you. Lily. Birds. That was quite oh, interesting. My sweet girl. Shush, honey. The Mortark is here. Do not stem your cries. Sob, roar, scream. Honorable Mortark Skyre. My neighbors, a lovely couple in the prime of their lives, were found dead in their house yesterday. A burglary gone wrong by the look of it. They leave behind a young girl and no money for a burial. The odor is already potent. They'll be thrown in the Kyontar shortly. I'm sure you get many a letter like mine, so I'm sorry to add to your burden, but you can see it in your heart to perform rites for this poor couple. The neighborhood has scrapped together, scraped together some coppers for the cost, but I confess it isn't much. May the Lord of the Dead grant them peace. Beldina Bone Knuckles. Doesn't flag as theft. Someone there. You know, I'm excusing this as we're looking for um, Asterion's vampire daddy. And Dolores is like, well, vampires are in graveyards. And Asterion's like, no, 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 he's, he's over here. Uh, vampires are in graveyards. And Asterion's like, no, that's not really not where he is. Vampires are... Subtle steps. That's not always brilliant. Rocky? Brave and loyal Rocky, who saved his master from an ambush. Whoa! Okay, wait, is... Is this a pet cemetery? Oh my God. Ha. Huh. Still breathing, despite everything. Gordis, Xena. Oh, Houndmaster Pole. Okay. Listen, I'm just gonna prep some call lightning here. They've got a decent amount of hit points, actually. Uh, this light, uh, this uh, chain lightning comes back on a, um, oh, you lightning resistance. Damn it! Let's say this chain lightning comes back on a short rest, so maybe the resistance is a little annoying. I don't think Dominate Beast is going to work here. You know what? Screw it. I'll just chain lightning. Still did a decent amount of damage, you know? Let's have some carnage. No. I'd rather not be threatened. I think we'll just eat the attack of opportunity here. All right, that's fine. Is it right? God damn it, Starian. So deadly. Oh, 
the lightning inside uh, seems tad dangerous. Used to not work indoors. I don't I don't know um, in like fifth edition or whatever. But call lightning used to be a really weird spell back in the day. I think it would work like once per uh, per turn, not round, which is like once every 10 rounds, like once per minute, you could call it down, but only outdoors. Um, I don't think this is a, fa a fight that necessarily calls for like twin hasting or anything like that. I mean, I got full spell slots because I respect. You know what? We're going to go through these spells pretty quickly. Ah, no, that's stupid. Just hit him. It's fine. And then I was going to say, if we happen to get a crit, and we did, perfect. We'll use a level, just level one spell slot. This might here, it's fine. Go, zombies, go! Yeah, Staring just got bitten on the butt. It's okay, it's his juiciest part. <laughs> She's got the ring of regen on, so she does the like healing moaning sounds. We only have one rage charge, so I don't want to use it on this if I don't have to. Um, let's uh, turn off the great weapon attack here because we don't need very much damage and I want the hit chance. Sure, still reckless attack. I guess we'll trigger tenacity because we still missed. No, I don't want to target self. I I don't want to target your giant hitbox. There we are. He probably likes that, getting bitten on the butt. All right, uh, let's move the hunter's mark. We won't have advantage on this guy, but that's fine. Guys, I'm not wearing my combat armor. Although, to be fair, I really wasn't expecting combat right there. I can't even catch my breath. What path lies before me? Um, yeah, I'm not going to use any spell slots. Uh, I'm not going to burn a crit effect on that. Easy fight. Staren's like, well, I'm still not happy. Hound Master is prey. Well, there's no more hounds. So I'm assuming that's not going to be too much of a problem. Yeah, just go up and use some regular attacks here. Non-combat armor, yeah. Ironically, it's the armor that we used on Asterion for, like, the biggest part of the game, because it was so good. Um, that is a little awkward, huh? You know what? We can probably... Really? No surrender. Yeah, but there you go. Got it. Yump. Whack. All right. Hey, huh? what? Go ahead and put on your other armor here for a second. I'm assuming you can probably open these now and be fine. Oh yeah, these are still strength checks. Yeah, we'll just get Carly to do it. Hey ho! Vintage. Bunch of balls. Potion of speed. So many balls. Ah. Shadowheart could have one more attack with the glove of the Blackguard in Carlac's bag. Oh, hold on. Um. And it's really not worth the inspiration. Oh my god! It's really not worth the inspiration. I'm saving the last one. Because other people can take a roll, I suppose. Um, Blackguard's gauntlets? Oh, wait. Plus one to hit. That's what you meant by one more attack. Uh, you're right, because her luminous gloves... I mean, here's the thing. She is dealing radiant damage a fair amount. But do we really care about stacking Radiant Orbs versus giving her plus one to hit? Because Shadow Dark doesn't have, because she's not a Vengeance Paladin and doesn't generate advantage, I think it probably does make sense to give her the plus one to hit. I like it. Hey. 
There we go. Got a heart showing you how it's done. Cloud giant strength? Okay. A stuffed owlbear toy? Where do I buy this merch? Actually, how do I get... Um, is there any deal with the... They have all the animal corpses. Oh. Um, I wonder if I can get a, a crochet pattern for an owlbear. Maybe... Maybe that will get me back into crochet, because I haven't done it in a while. Give it to Carlac, put it next to her bear. There's many things, Roaring Thunder, Animal Friendship, and all the callers. I wonder, like, what happens, like, if I take Xena's collar and put it in with Xena? Like, is there any chance... Hmm. Speak with the animals, speak the dead. That's the same. Ooh. A stuffed bear. Is is Varric in there? Still alive, so that's progress. A young cave bear. Killed and stuffed before its teeth were fully grown. Step quick. Oh, I don't think there's nothing in there now. There might be something in here. World of animal friendship. I mean, that makes sense. The Durinbold hounds. Here lies the hound master of the Durinbolds, surrounded by his loyal pack, good boys and girls all. All dogs are good dogs. What is this? Hmm. What's that? Oh, there's a hole. Okay, that probably connects to the other one. is small and I am not no one stopped me yet. I mean we could we could try with Dell let's um cat form should mind my step yeah grand mausoleum oh ask can come with me oh that's cute What now? Was in the skeleton? Was there a skeleton? What skeleton? Over here. Was there something in hound? On the houndmaster here? No, there's no number for it. This is weird. We've we haven't seen. I mean, I guess these are exactly the same as like the skeletons that are just on the ground. Yeah. Okay. So we have seen lootable skeletons before. We just I've never seen one in an inventory before. All right, get out of here. I don't like. Let's you. move. More tree down there. Slow down. More talk. Any luck with the carpenter? I fear not, my child. Your daughter's casket will have to wait. What? But for how long? Her rights will be said. Her body made one with the soil. Try not to focus on the how or when. Of course. Um. I know it seems like kind of an important question. When is my child going to be buried? I am not leaving until Lily has a god damned coffin. I'm sorry, but our baby girl. Our baby. It was nice playing this halfling. My first run could go through holes of my own. Yeah. I know. If you're here for a burial, good luck. The carpenter around back claims there's a backlog. We asked for a child-sized coffin. But I said it'll take a month. I was gonna say, is that the place that was the front for the the murder cult of Ball? But no, they were tombstone makers, not coffin makers, right? A month? That seems a bit excessive. Oh, there's a priority fee. But not all of us have the barrels of gold to spare. Oh, so. Seven years of age. And murdered. What kind of monster hurts a little girl? <laughs> We've run into a lot of those in this Shush, playthrough. Love. We're going to get Lily a coffin, all right? Give her the burial she deserves. Interesting that there wasn't the option to give them more money for the priority. I'm, I'm also, I am expecting that we can just talk, talk to the guy, but I expected there might be an option for it. 
Ayana's last wishes. Valmorba, thank you for the grace and kindness you've shown me. You've gone above and beyond to give Ayana the best send-off she could have. I've enclosed gold for the casket to bring her luck and her favorite teddy bear. She loves that thing more than me, I used to joke. I pray it brings her much comfort as Clemvor's embrace did. Best wishes, Fiona. Maybe I need more pockets. Is Fiona and Ayana people we've run into? Fiona feels really familiar. Durnhold Museum Key. Well, we already picked a lock. Um, stupid water mermaid. The diary written in this beautiful archaic script. Drawings of flowers detail every page. Today was difficult, but then again, what day hasn't been lately? It was a child this time. She was young and beautiful, her face peaceful despite the brutality of her death. Her parents had only coppers, but I waived my fee. I know I shouldn't, my savings are perilously low these days, but considering how she must have suffered, it was the least I could do for her family. I asked her parents if she had any favorite scents. They told me she loved the sea, a water baby, they called her. I prepared the body with weave moss, styling her hair with chutler's oil. They cried when they saw her hugging me, thanking me. I've never felt a deep connection to the gods, that is the Mortark's pre purview, not mine, but moments like today give me purpose. As a gravekeeper, I provide comfort and grief, beauty and death, peace and sorrow. I only wish I did not have to do it so often. Wait, so where's the carpenter? I guess they're, oh, down here. Oh, all right. I'll read this issue of the Baldur's Mouth Gazette, since I haven't been buying them. Okay, they actually look really cool. I'll twirl Inferno City drawn to Avernus. This, this is an old article. I'm sleeping over there. All right, let me go talk to this carpenter. And I'll give you three ounces. I guess I could have gone a different way, but I guess we're gonna go in this way. All right. Must have made a little jealous of his mustache. It's a very good mustache. Outhouse. How many coffins? Bloody hells. All right, Sully. And, and no, I don't care if your loved one was drowned, strangled, or butchered. I guess a lot of people have been dying lately. Not even for a child, the couple is really upset. Why? Because they have a dead kid. Welcome to half the city. Now, you want to bump someone else to the back of the queue? Fine. I was going to say that's cold, but I also understand. Listen, can I cast haste on you? Would that help? It's for a kid, please. How would you feel if you lost a child? Oh, what if it turns out he has? <laughs> the intimidation one was a little rough. Man, that is a hard check. I have lost See? a kid. All it. And I gave him the best send off I could. Bloody hells. Fine. Tell them they could pick it up at sunset. Now get out of my sight. Is that the first toilet we saw in the city? Maybe? Because we did see some outhouses previously. I don't think we need the murgas for anything, but. This guy's name Spatula. It's not much, but handing out leftovers is the least I can do with the absolute almost upon us. Oh, is he a kitchen worker? Okay. I don't know where, where oh, that is right there. Where did we end up here? Hold on. Let me come back around here and then come back that way. Check that door. Get more distracted. Is it magic salt uh, sanitation? What is this, Harry Potter? I won't bury Lily without a coffin. I refuse. No one's suggesting that. We've just got to figure this out. Your daughter's coffin will be ready soon. I took care of it. You did. <gasps> you hear that, honey? Lily was Imagine becoming a wizard only to become a sanitation worker. Knowing that she'll be able to be put to rest properly makes things easier. Thank you. 
I'm waiting for Asterion disapproves. <laughs> Although Staren likes money kids, I think. Sencha. Money, money for Essentia? Hey! I've been able to join any streams recently, so belated Happy New Year. Oh, By the way, stuff. love the Software Inc. series. Well, thank you very much! Oh, that's much appreciated. Yeah, playing Coast, it's been a little bit. Hey, Rhino with the resub. Hey, Rhino. Actually, Rhino, do you know, is, um... Is the Kiss for Luck playing some more, uh, Pal World today? This this is the back to the Elsong Tavern and the kitchen and stuff we've done there. Okay. If so, I wonder if she's running the multiplayer server. Think so? Because I might still join. I'm going to have to rest my voice and not talk too much in the stream, which is going to be hard, but... Okay. How do we get to the other side of the, uh, the wall here? Through here? There we go. That's probably where I'm going. Asterion likes kids, it sounded ominous. I know, right? But, like, Asterion doesn't like it usually when we, like, help out people. Like, he's like, ah, it's too soft or this and that. But every now and again, when we, with, um, with children, he likes that. Is this Kazura's place? Well, this is a waterfall. Oh! Mm, I guess I can keep going around this way. I don't know, I haven't been here before, so we'll see. We got some pouches. I don't think it's worth... Looting anything there. He killed all the bad guys on his own. Okay, this is the place where... How the frack do we get in the frackin' 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 Cazador frackin' place? Oh my frackin' god! What the hell? Game, what's going on? We might have to ask her directions. Hold on a sec. Should I have kept walking up here? There's a door there. Hang on a sec. Might ask for directions soon. <laughs> for now, I'm just going to curse things a little bit more. <laughs> Maybe another ground floor entrance. So this might be a hallway. I mean, we're heading towards a door over there. So let's see what happens when we do that. I mean, there's definitely a door there. <laughs> I can sneak in here. Security shouldn't be too tight. A few charm innocents, maybe. Great, Asterion, but why isn't the quest marker over here? Czar Palace South Tower. Okay. Czar is definitely the place. But I'm still... Because originally, like, when, when we ended up... The, the stream last time, I ended up in this little building. I was trying to go here, but that was blocked off. All right. Can sneak in. I was gonna go stealth mode right now, but I think there'd be some insta spotting. Well, we will lead the way with Asterion. Tell you what, um, let's go ahead and short rest, even though we don't really need it yet. Oh, but let's do it. The wind back in my sails. You're there. You're there. I don't know if we had anything that like was charge based on short rest that we might have wanted to get back or anything, but we're gonna do it. This is okay. So this is just a way to sneak in. The question mark at the actual door to the next map. Like. But there's no question mark. There's a cube, but I couldn't. I couldn't get there. I feel like I'm probably just taking a, a backdoor alternate way. Master Astarian, but the time is almost here. You should be at the ritual. Hurry. Yeah, we're the palace is being seen. totally on our way to the ritual. You must not anger the master. No, we wouldn't want to do that. Um, you know, I wonder, I think I have a quick save right outside the door, right? Because I'm wondering if I had walked in here, if I was controlling Dell, if Asterion would have said something here, 
to give me a hint as to how he feels about these people. Because I don't know what his relationship is to these people here. And if we'd want to be like Sly, he talked about charming the guards before and things like that. We know what ritual. We're like, I'll hurry up. It could do this and probably leads to a fight. Or we could just straight up attack. I don't know. I'll just be like, I'll, I'll hurry up. Be quick. Hmm, I'll hurry up. I can't do an Asterian voice, which is a shame. <laughs> Either rampart doors. Okay. Look Hang on. Del wants to talk to this rat. I want to have a word. Another visitor? Stein Long? You know, there's an exit elsewhere. The one open for the one. Yeah, who are these visitors? Guests came for a party. Never left, though. Don't know what happened to them. Don't want to know. But I'm sure you're different. I'm sure you'll be fine. <laughs> Sarcastic rat, best rat. Keep a blade close. Okay, you know what? I will have Dell lead. Because we might get we might get more side banter. It's interesting that this is considered theft. Like, even though the guard the people were like, yeah, go on ahead. I'm I'm not going to stealth to click on the door. Just to see what happens. I mean, there was no one here to watch anyway, so I guess it's probably fine, but. Zor Palace Servant Etiquette. Memorize these rules and do not fail to follow them. Do your job silently. Do not speak unless spoken to. The master likes it quiet. If you are not busy, find something to do and look busy. The master likes diligence. If you encounter the master, stand still and cast down your eyes with deference. The master likes to be respected. No whistling. Chamberlain Dufay. So you get a key. The etiquette again. Wall of the faithful. And yeah, I know we're not stealth, but there's no witnesses regardless. Unless, I mean, uh, what can I do for you? My you friend? just got in my way. I mean, I, I wonder if I should rest. I mean, we've got plenty of resources. Our, our party is pretty OP and sick. We could go and rest. Because I was just thinking, if we're going to go and get into a big fight, I'm probably going to want an amulet or um, an elixir of bloodlust on Asterion. And then I'm like, oh, but should I rest first just to make sure we get maximum use out of it? Soldier. You know what? Yeah, our spells are fine. On my mind and... So let's let's not rest, but I will go and, assuming I've got... I've only got the one bloodlust. Hmm. That's a shame. Need for that? Warg fangs. All right. I'll just save the bloodlust maybe for the last fight. Wonder if the okay, so now we're on the upper wall, and this is definitely leading to that door. Okay. Now. Vampires would be a safe bet. It was hilarious. It made me laugh. The bloodstained sword with a hooded man standing by, axe in hand. The door just clicked open. I think. Okay, so. I guess I'm not crazy. This was this was the way in. It was just not entirely obvious that that spot wasn't accessible from the ground. All right. Actually, I'm going to do a, a hard save here. Started my honor mode run this weekend. Made me realize much my not resting my first run. Yeah. The thing is, even if you're worried about using supplies, just do a, you can do a bunch of partial rest. You rest without using food just to, like, make sure you've advanced all the conversation, the cutscenes. There are very few things in the in the game that are on a timer. Um, in Act 1, once you get to the Grimforge, there is a timer there for Nier and saving the gnomes. Um, there's a couple things related to the murder in here. Uh, and in Act 3, there's a timer for... Florin's execution. Um, but that may be all that's on an actual timer. All right, listen, we're just gonna walk in like we own the place. Could fire gashes for him. All right, this place is cool and very swanky. I like it. Victoria's list. 
Oh. There are 17 paintings, but sometimes some of them are the same painting, except that later sometimes they're different again. There are 17 candelabra. Sometimes I light them, but the candles don't burn down. There are 17 chairs, which... Oh, some bats are flying by. Which is almost always too many. Father says that if I go into the ballroom, I will be bitten 17 times by 17 rats. Is this a puzzle? Or just, you know, crazy? Bless us, master. The master is pure. His palace must be pure. No stain, no smudge, no taint. Pure. <laughs> taint. Um, Green Elite, that's a good point. There are some timers once you, once you start a quest. Like, in a specific area with a specific event going on, sometimes things are timed and progress, but yeah. Um, in terms of short rest stuff or long rest stuff, it's less of an issue. So we got an ad break starting. I promise I will make sure to pause the action if we get to anything too crazy. Sinister painting. See, now I want to go and like move or steal all the paintings. Partially just for spite. Okay, it's hard to find a legal spot for them here. Just that upset the servants. We could potentially do a fly down to here, but no, let's just keep walking the way we're supposed to. All right, I'm going to lead with this area now. So if there's a conversation, I'll do that. Sinister door. We need a sinister key. Look at the uh, look at the rats. Is this the door that leads to the place with the 17 rats that they'll bite us 17 times? This is a no uh, no fast travel zone. Chamberlain's suite. This place is cool. And it is making me want to play. Was that Vampire Survival game? Was it V Rising? Yeah, let's go to the office first. Servant, the palace needs to be spotless. Dal throws painting on the ground. Yep. Well, the palace is going to be filled with blood soon. That looks like it could have been a door, but. An elegant a robe. Souvenir. Queen of Kingpins. Oh, it's about nine fingers. Let's take more clothes, because sure. The ballroom door. Okay, that's, yeah, that's crazy. There's the sinister door, I think. Chamberlain Dufay, the Kazukuran Dictionary we use to train new servants on how to operate the ballroom door has gone missing. And my signet ring alone won't do the job. Please have the servants sort this out. It shouldn't be my problem to solve. Got it. Then it continues in a different handwriting. Got it. The servants and I are thoroughly busy preparing for the master's celebration. Get your bones out of the kennel and search every chamber on the vampire spawn level and quickly to find the book. For vendor ledger? Ledger, listing and tracking inventory of goods and regular uses of our palace with categories for food and drink for servants and guests. Cleaning supplies, including alchemical blood stain remover from bone cloaks, opaque heavy curtains, candles of different sizes in yellow tallow and red and black wax, leather straps with buckles, palm bombs and oils, and regular deliveries of Baldur's Mouth broadsheets. And a mysterious elixir. An anonymous liquid in this draft is not viscous, but moves with an unusual lethargy when tilted. Well, let's take all that with us. Okay. I was kind of expecting a key for this, but yeah, let me go and close this door. I did notice, like, the wall that I assumed was, like, think. Oh, I can walk through it. Oh, because I had noticed a bit of a light. I, I think I panned out and and moved my eyes before I noticed the full fakeness, because it definitely had that vibe. Although, yeah, I think I might just connect there. Okay, well, we'll make sure to check out that corner. Move and see. Chamberlain Dufay, vampire spawn, dead. Is he actually dead or just in torpor? Uh, Toss right out. There's a there's an overlay you can click to see everyone's uh, everyone's spec and gear. Hmm. 
What's that? I don't know. What is? Oh, there it is. These glows have to be so much more obvious for me. Dufay's diary. Diary of Antoine Dufay, Chamberlain of Cazador's Palace. The final page of the diary reads, I know enough about what the master has in mind with his ritual that I refuse to be the stand-in for that missing brat, Asterion. Even if Cazador finds my body, the potion Bone Cloak sold me is promised to provide the convincing illusion of death. It's probably the, uh, an, the potion we grabbed too. Especially since I'll leave behind a look-alike potion of acid poison. My one regret is dear Luriana, but I simply cannot trust her with the secret of my one chance of escape. When the potion wears off, Cazador will have ascended and I will have and will have need of my services, or he will be no more, and Master of the Palace will fall to me. So he's not actually dead. He is in Torpor. Self-inflicted. Well, the Quatra Sune is like the sex book, right? Kama Sutra kind of thing. Mm -hmm. I wonder if I, if I move this, I might have been able to walk through there, but... Alright, I'll break stealth for speed. Oh, well there's Luriana, who's a werewolf? My darling Dufay. My darling Dufay, despite all your promises that when we went to the afterlife, we'd go together, you went without me. Or did you? I found your body and the empty bottle. I know you took a potion, but was it poison or something else? There are two more identical bottles. I'm going to drink one of them and then I'll join you one way or another. I love you for eternity, Luriana. What and that's the private room key. This werewolf burned it up from the inside. Its throat and innards are more liquid than solid. Yeah, okay. That's a little disturbing. On my way. Oh, you missed that on your playthrough. Ah. I mean, there's so many things. I'm watching people do like level one playthroughs, or not level one, act one playthroughs and still discovering things I still haven't seen. Okay, so we know that we need, we'll need a book and a signet ring to get through the sinister door. It's got an arcane lock on it. I don't think it can just be picked. It was a little Romeo and Juliet, you're right. The fake poison. Ooh. Well, this isn't. That door wasn't covered with weird magical energy. Sinister seal. Dark energy envelops this door. Okay, let's leave that be for a second. Oh, All right. every the woman's eyes are alert, verging on manic as she bustles about. Everything's got to be right for the master. Everything's got to be perfect. That's the first character we've seen in a corset like that. But of course, it would make a lot of sense in a vampy place. Behold. One of Cazador's cheapest tricks. An illusionary. I'm still wondering if I should be looking behind every single one of these paintings. The fetid little cell he throws into when displeased. Dormitory wing. Let's check the kennels. I don't want to play Vampire of the Masquerade Bloodlines again. I'm not sure they'd be an. What did we perception? Did we perception gaudy? Ambushing. Oh. But yeah, so go to the kennels and talk to your bone, and specifically related to, like, the book that we were missing. Hello? I know you're there, Gotti. Stop skulking and show yourself. I know you're there, Gotti. You always were sharp, little one. Sharp enough to cut yourself. It's taking everything I have not to grind your rotten carcass to dust. Don't be mad at Cody, child. I only did my job. Only kept you in line. This is great. You tortured us. I mean, for less days so, but... at a time. Oh yeah. Screenshot time. And Everyone pose. So sweetly for me. None of the others screamed like you did. Oh yeah, I th think the nudity filter is on, as the nudity is off. But I'll check. Thanks for the reminder. Because it would not surprise me that this place would be full of that, because of vampires. They're just giant horn dogs. Casador sent me to capture a stair, and I'm here to deliver. Imitation. Lay a hand on me and lose it, bones. I don't know. I, I, you know what? I don't think I'm here. 
we just attack him? No. Well, I won't just attack him if Sarah didn't go there, but I don't think I want to tell this story. I don't think I want to fake it. We're just going to try to bravado our way through things at this point. Not very nice. Not very friendly. Why are you here then, little one, if not to see Goldie? Isn't it obvious? <laughs> I'm going to kill. See? Kasadu. Why would we fake our way in? How dare you? It's way more fun. As if you could lay a finger on the master, you ungrateful little brat. Gody will not let you get away with blasphemy. Gody Can we kill him now? Is that okay? Punished. I like how we succeeded at the intimidation check and it still just led to a fight. I mean, I don't see how there's any way this would justify any re- No, don't! Fucking stupid gas camera. I, maybe, okay, I don't know if we've tried this since the patch is toggled, but we could turn off the cinematic camera again. Previously, it didn't stop the camera from actually doing cinematic camera things and moving around and being annoying. So our family key is done, and we get the key to the kennel. An inscription on the ring. Like the, we tried toggling it off the, the dynamic camera there. stuff, and it still moved the camera around. But, uh, oh right, let's check the nudity figure filter. I think, yeah, there you go. No nudity. Okay. I have to keep going. So we got the ring, but we still need the book. It's interesting because the doors are named, it makes it all, keeps making me think there's going to be a zone trans transition. Hang on, we still have to have a Starian lead. Let's be quick. A little small talk. I must be busy, 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 busy. Master might see me. Master might approve. DJ is great about using checks in narrative way and give you a good story in advance despite success or failure. Yeah. I mean, usually succeeding um, is a way to bypass fights or whatever. So I, I think the spawn dormitory is specifically where it said the book was. We're going to go there anyway, but we will check out the favorite spawn after. But not for long. The dormitory. Tonight, this is where the spawn were kept. When we were getting neither the carrot nor the stick. Ledger, blood donors. Hazardar's finest. When you're on the hunt, take prey by preference from the city's lower classes. Patriarchs may smell better, but will attract unwanted attention if too many aristocrats vanish when they're out slumming. In the last month, you've already brought in a Dlusker, a Jasso, and an Othan. And now three wealthy families are up in arms. Watch it. Violet's Diary. Hee hee, the garlic in Yusin's bed gave him a nasty rash. Serves him right for being such a whining runt. Now, if I only could get a j uh, that snob Leon and his brat of a daughter, but she's protected. Cazador must have a fine plan for little Victoria. I wonder what it is. I wonder if Victoria is one of the people who uh, ambushed it at us at camp that time. All right, it must be in the favored chamber. Interesting. Swanky. Favorite spawn ledger. Favorite spawn, Cazador's best prey hunters who are entitled to stay in the special bedchamber. Year to date. Leon, Leon, Violet, Leon, Leon, Leon. Leon's Diary. Diary of Leon Onufrio. Last page. Ever since the master turned me and forced me to bring Victoria along into the palace, I've had to be his best hunter just so I could stay in here with my daughter and keep her away from the other spawn. I don't like the way Violet looks at her. Not at all. When I ask the master what he plans to do with Victoria, Cazador just gives me that wicked smile. Next time I go get out on a hunt, I must talk to Figaro to finalize the deal for Victoria's escape disguise. If only there's enough time before this ritual the master talks about. 
I wonder if that we might be able to turn Leon to our cause when everything goes down. Make them okay. I was still expecting to find a ritual book down here. I mean, I don't think there were any more perception checks or anything. Candelabra re receives condition burning. Should I be turning all these candelabras? Should I be looking through all these paintings? Oh my god. Not actually asking for an answer right now. Um. Oh, in the top view, I think it's occasionally thinking I'm clicking somewhere else or somewhere invalid. May we be worthy of you. Hmm. Is this just a dead end? Well, that's where I came in, I guess. I found the ring. We should investigate. It may prove useful. We found the ring on the Bones guy. Can't interact with that painting. Should probably pay more attention to the actual art on some of these. Butterfly and a skull. Oh my god, more stuffed bears. Can I take this down? Yeah, I guess I can pick it up. They, they, are, they tend to be very heavy. Can't click through there. Just checking. And they sped, specifically talk about candelabras, not chandeliers. And that's not a painting I can interact with. Now, all of this, all of this may not be anything. It may have just been creepy flavor text, but now, oh, I can't reach those. Okay, but now it's like, oh, hold on, there are paintings in there too. Any paintings in this room? No. Steal all the paintings. This is now an art heist game. I oh, can't reach that one. Master not here. You obey me. You obey me. Who's doing that talking? Condemnation. Poet unveils review. Graveyard Collier. Cabin in motion. There's more chandeliers. River goes. Can I interact with these? Probably they're too high. Oh, no, I can. Now, it's possible the only deal that was down here was the flavor text and then getting the ring from Bones. Okay, I can't do these two. Alright, I'm gonna go back upstairs. May we be worthy of you. Well, there's the cursed door. That's a brazier. Interestingly, that one's not lit. Did I turn that off? Is there's this thing? Well, that's just no, that's there. Okay, so that's not a fake wall that leads anywhere. I thought if anything might be relevant, it might be that candelabra. I mean, I could fling some water at it. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting. Did Ray of Frost turn off candles? Well, it killed it. Careful, I bite. What happens if I click the door? Uh, what happened? I feel so drained. Vitality drain. Condition. One turn remaining. The dead girl sapping curses draining your vitality. Oh, 
Well, there are more debuffs going on there too. Sapping curse. Curse energy drains vitality of anyone who dares get closer. Okay. Well, this feels like a thing. Let's move. So, we take necrotic damage entering this zone. We can just be like, YOLO. Condition cursed. I wonder if you can remove curse, the sapping curse. And we've got telekinesis to maybe like shove her around and stuff, but I'm not sure that's the winning path. I never remember. I think druids don't get removed cursed. I think I'd go through this every single freaking time. Let's get on with it. What a day. Whatever comes, I'm ready. Is it level three or level four spell? No, I think I don't have it. Cleric, I don't have a cleric with me. What am I to do? Um, we do have mage hand available to us. It's going to be now the mage hand has hit points. Okay. Can't give up now. I didn't realize it was a touch spell, but okay. Okay. That worked. Ah, uh, the bedrooms. Never once slept in. Victoria's this note. Where I took our oh. guests. I'd entertain them here until Casador appeared and took them away. Some cool artwork in here too. No one ever died here though. Something strange happened to that girl. Victoria, remember to read that ancient language book. You'll need to know some of the vocabulary to be able to move freely within the palace. Okay, so she had the book and presumably hid it somewhere in here. There's the chest, but let me just... How delicious. Mm, Staring, if you wouldn't mind. A crooked touch. Not oh, flagged as theft, which is nice. I know we used an emotional support scroll. Moment of grit. Grit. When the wearer has 50% hit points or less, they have an additional bonus action. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. I don't know that I'm going to prioritize that for anyone. Like, low health build. Makes me think of playing an ARPG. <gasps> there it is. Quest item. Kozakuran Dictionary. The book is a dictionary of ancient Kozakuran language from the distant land of Kartur. Flipping through the pages, you find certain words and phrases underlined. Open, enter, beware, forbidden, and seal. I know this Kozakuran. It's the same dusty old language on the Tsar's signet ring. Okay, so I think we have both parts. <gasps> I'm ready. Got a heart. Really need a different camera mode. Okay, break up. This way. Show a helmet. No, not the snakeskin hat. Fly cocket. Oh my god, it's so cute. Oh, he's the same as uh, same shape as the plus two charisma hat. 
That is what I had you wearing, right? I think so. Yeah, probably. Maybe. Oh. All's well that ends. We'll embrace his passion scrolls. I can't believe we have to wait until Act 3 to start getting some really sick outfits. There's like basically no costume clothing available for the first two acts. Other than maybe stuff you steal from the other companions. Transmog option would be good. I mean, there's a bunch of mods for the game, so I'm assuming they've got stuff for that too. Um, Was it back through here? It is back through here. Click. The door is covered in intricate text, but you can't see anywhere a key might fit. Only a small round hollow engraved with a family. Okay, crest. so you put in the signet ring and then say the word open or whatever. Recognize the writing. It's the same Kozakuran script from the dictionary you found. Press the SAR signet ring against the hollow and read the door's inscription aloud. Beware opening. The ring slots perfectly into place, and the door swings open. Speak, friend, and enter. There's a lot of blood. And some woofs. I wonder if, um... Oh, these are the things that we're talking before. I wonder if, uh, does Shadowheart still have a fear of wolves? Listen, Asterion, we're just going to walk in like we, you know, own the place again. Pretty guess. You know what this feels like very much? Um, Harjan. The dining hall uh, fight. When you go up one floor. Can't remember what that, that guy, that boss fight is. To him. We get his favor. Okay, we be fighting. There's a lot of things in this room. We got bats, rats, and puppies. So white mist and blood fang are gonna go pretty quick. All right, you lost concentration previously. Um, I'm just gonna wail on you. So I think I will just Hunter's Mark. Uh, actually, important question. Okay, as I say, let's make sure I can actually leave the room and I'm not blocked. Otherwise I would want to keep my bonus action for Misty Step. But I'm gonna use my bonus action to recast Hunter's Mark. And yeah, we're gonna start by the wolves. Don't dead open inside, yeah. Oh, I'm still wearing my uh, my fevery armor instead of my more combat armor, but that's going to be fine. In fact, I think we'll take around advantage of the uh, first round bonuses we've got by action surging now. Say, so did that weird lag thing again? Um, we could use a splash damage arrow here. My emotional support arrows. So not bad. Uh, first round, uh, Asterion has done... Well, I think they both have 75 hit points. Yeah, so 150 points of damage. Plus, well, 150 points of damage. It's not bad, you know, for a single round. Oh, and now we've merged our initiatives. Oh, shoot. Did I just... See, Shadowheart's a little annoying because she... I did give her the 14 decks when I respect her, but she's still not super fast, which means we're not going to take advantage of the first round haste there, but I guess that's going to have to be fine. Dell, where do we want to AoE? There's a lot of shit over on this side, so I think what I'm going to do is Insect Plague this side here. Um, I mean, the rats and the bats don't have a lot of hit points, but who knows? Maybe they're really annoying. I could use a lower level. I could just chain lightning or call lightning. Oh, I forgot after shapeshifting, I didn't recast Koreska's favor. Ah, Um, but yeah, we could just prep some call lightning here. I don't know. If, can I multi hit? I mean, I can multi hit those. 
Maybe I'll just do this. I don't think it's a very tough fight. We'll just use a level three spell slot is fine. I'm not going to upcast it. Yeah, this is going to be fine. And then just pull back over here. Find a way forward. Now, again, I don't think it's going to be a tough fight, but I think I will go ahead and use a rage charge. Although it is our last one. We could leave the palace after this and do a full rest. Because there might be more than one difficult fight. This is definitely not going to be it, though. You know what? We don't need to charge. Although I did just use a Starion's action surge, but that does come back on a short rest. Okay, I think we can probably go ahead and use the action surge at least. Let's see if you can get a trip off here, because then it'll give you advantage on your further attacks. Prone, excellent. And dead. Really? Not enough movement? Really? I mean, I could bonus action to jump over there if I'm, I'm going to action surge. Or bonus action Misty Step. Either way works out the same. Is there a risk of a timer? I mean, I suppose there is supposed to be a ritual, but I'm not expecting it, which... I mean, from a roleplay point of view, I suppose it doesn't make sense to leave, right? Still not dead. Not sure. Maybe? Oh, there we go. All right. Rats and bats are going to go. Something else just joined the fight, too. Um, are we getting crazy amounts of XP for killing these rats and bats? I mean, it doesn't matter because we're capped. But that's actually crazy. Yeah, I don't think any more resources are worth using here. Um, yeah, Shadowheart, just, you can just go and stab these things. You're not going to be able to reach there. This guy will be able to attack us, but that's fine. Well, let's not use anything else. We're good. Oh. oh, that's... I saw someone else join the fight at some point. Okay. And they're only temporarily hostile, but... Eat exploding ghoul. Sorkinen gets shield spell. Becomes unkillable. I don't think it's even worth. I don't know. This will at least guarantee the kill. You only got three, but that's fine. Nothing important is ever easy. One day I'll catch a break. I guess I could have hit the poor creature. Like, I didn't think there was much left, and I forgot there was this guy over here. Go on. Whee! Oh! Wait, really? You can't swing in this guy here? Really? What's the Sorkin? Uh, Paladin Sorcerer. Uh, Multi-class combo. Then it tells you not enough movement, but then if you just move manually, then it's like, oh, wait, hold on. I was wrong. There's plenty of movement left. <laughs> I 
So paladin sorcerer combo is quite good because the sorcerer gives you tons more um, spell slots that you can use for your smites. Plus some utility stuff that's just handy. Assuming the bats and rats don't have anything on them. Need to find a way forward. We could probably come here fairly early. Thinking this is not one of the more challenging areas of Act 3. I'll get you in. Oh, we did meet that one lady who was like being invited to the party, right? In the sewers. Sansi, I've been invited to a play at a party at the Tsar Palace tonight in their ballroom. Show the Chamberlain at the door this note and he'll let you join in. Wear your best dress. Halira. I had two copies of that for some reason. Gates Pub Crawler Guide. Drums, violins, sheet music. I can play at the piano. Sheet music for General Sandro's death suite, a funerary celebration in three parts. Give me a second before we sit down there. I kind of wish I had my bard character. A button? Also a ladder. Were there rafters in this fight? Hmm, or it just goes up a tower. All right, first thing we do is push the button. Oh, which closed the door? Okay. That was not really what I was expecting would happen, but sure. Can you stack an enlarge spell on top of the elixir? Ah, uh, you can, yes. You can get real big. Another button. My dogs are barking. Can we rest? Careful, there I am. Because you do have the perception bonus. Oh, I'm just right back in this armor. Harsack, 1477? On my 13th birthday, I was summoned to the city palace by Uncle Cazador. Old Drossel hitched the team to the best carriage and drove me to the Black Dragon Gate, where I was met by porters and a litter to carry me through the upper city to Tsar Palace. The Chamberlain was waiting to conduct me to the ballroom, a chamber mysterious to me, as I'd never been allowed to enter it before. Amanita Tsar. This way. Ages. Another button. Some garlic. What's this? What the hell is going on in this place? Another ladder? I really was expecting me going down, not up. Shall we? Ready or not. What an odd place. Silver key. Oh, well, there's a silver key. There must be a silver door. Watch your back. And... Oh, that was the trunk. Huh. So we came all the way up here for a silver key. It's 
weird. Oh, this area isn't red anymore. You know what? Let's just go and take a long rest. We snuck up here so that we could we can grab a few of these, get some rest. Sure. Zahira, Abu is trying his best to explain, but I still oh, do not Jesus. understand your anger. Do not hide behind your hamster, Ranger. You do not understand because you do not listen. I want Hamster Ranger to be a subclass. Discovered the cult. And if you had only waited, we might have marshaled our numbers and... Good does not wait for evil to button up its breeches. When it offers buttocks for the smacking, Minsk and Bo greet cheek with hand. <laughs> Sounds like a fun evening. Enough what's this about? No, you know what? I want to ask. What's this about? I would like to see if a lesson has been learned. Uh-huh. This mess falls on our heads, Minsk. The city under siege, its people poisoned by the cult. It all might have been avoided if you had just put your feelings aside and listened. You are the only one Minsk listened to, remember? Or the trail would have ended up there instead of leading you to Catherick, the prism, me. Speaking of feelings, does Minsk know you were ready to kill the emperor for him? She's right, Minsk. You, I need to know you'll follow the orders from here on out. I don't know, I kind of want one or two. Or the trail would have ended there, instead of leading you to Ketherick, the prison, me. Ring of truthfulness. Oh, yeah. I have seen too much. I really didn't need the uh, guidance. Has taken our side. Blind luck, perhaps. The point remains. You meant well, Minsk. But you exposed the city to harm. You helped the cult spread. And worse, perhaps, than any of this. You forced me to leave you behind. But this is where Minsk falls short of the understanding, Jahira. What else is a berserker for if not to charge into danger ahead of his Waklaren? The Waklaren? Wise women of Rashomon, each bonded to a berserker bodyguard for life. Which is what dining here was in a BG1. No deeper bond in all of Rashomon custom. Wiglarin? Minsk, I am not your witch. You are not my bodyguard. This is not some high lodge of your homeland. Bo agrees you are a queer kind of witch. <laughs> but this city is a queer place. And Minsk, you may have noticed, is sometimes strange himself. The titles matter not. Only this. When Minsk does as Minsk does, and charges in to make a mess, Jahira does as Jahira does, and finds a way to save us all anyway. Minsk is sort of a high-maintenance fellow, actually. Uh, it's kind of sweet. I suppose there's some twisted logic at play there. So what you're saying is you've learned absolutely nothing. I don't care what you call yourselves. You just need to both... Uh, you know what? I suppose there's some kind of twisted logic at play there. Is there? Wonderful. Another Minsk in the making. Ha! Not without a companion, I'm afraid. Who will ask some of his sewer-dwelling friends? <laughs> I am your friend, Ranger. I am not your witch. There will be no ointments or healing bombs. Minsk is a manic pixie berserker, Ranger. <laughs> All right, anyone else? No dialogue that I can see at a glance. Minsk's chaotic, chaotic alignment. <sighs> we got through the night with nothing crazy. All right, so let's just pop back and begin the boost. Um, oh, you're encumbered. I mean, we did throw a lot of stuff at you. Um, not to wears. Are these, are these or I guess that's a legendary thing. That's not the quest uh, item color. Yeah, okay. 
I mean, I guess I can just throw a bunch of these at the uh, center camp. Don't need to do much for Karlak here. All right. Um, first things first. Oh, it did the thing again where I don't have the uh, the free cast. Hold on. If I do this and do that. So I've got the free cast from Marco. The question is... Is it possible the free cast from Marco is overriding the free cast from my Illithid powers? It blunk on and off for a bit. My Illithid free cast button has not worked in the last couple of times. I'm wondering if there's some sort of glitch that happens with Marco. Do you see it lights up for a split second here? Maybe the thing is, before we long rest, take off Marco. Maybe then the Illithid free cast will work. And then equip Marco and use this one. Oh, we're probably carrying a bunch of paintings, you're right. Don't be shy. Can't afford to stay idle. I mean, they're surprisingly not too heavy. Still breathing. I said pull over it to work. Everything. Okay. Um so first thing I want to do is I want to summon all these guys. And then we want to conjure us as soon as it gives me the option to maybe click on a thing again. Thank you. And then we are going to free cast the upcasted water mermaid over here. No, us, uh, us, where are you going, man? Okay, maybe there's just not enough space around. Moving in. Let me do this. Everyone clump up. There you go. Us is coming back. That's good. Uh, cause what I'd love to do is free cast the Heroes Feast as well. Oh, now it's available! Maybe once I consume this free cast, then this one will become there. Okay, so I will free cast the level 6 Heroes Feast. There we go. Oh, Carly's still overweight. Okay, that's fine. Now, again, Karlak is the one with the Ring of Free Action. Yes, it is. Okay, so we're gonna free cast Shadowheart. Or free cast. Freedom of movement. And Asterion. Speak with animals. It's a long strider rune, but I needed people to bunch up. Do, do, do. We're not gonna bother long striding the summons. Okay, that's Dell's buffing done. Um I'm not going to go and get these spell slots back right now. Well, I can't use this to get it back because this is level one through three. This one is any spell slot. I'd rather get a five or six. I guess I'll use my natural recovery to get back a level four spell slot. Just as an option, but I'll save the two charges left over for other things. Carly doesn't have to do any setup the start of the day. Um, Shadowheart does. I've got six of these elixirs of cloud giant strength. I'm going to assume they're going to last us until the end of the game at this point. So we're going to drink that. We're also going to do a maximum cast of aid. And I don't think there's anything else she needs to do, although I want her to speak with animals. And then Asterion, you've got nothing to do to prep in the morning. At least things okay, I think I remembered everything. Did it properly. Oh, um, hold on, hold on, hold on. You got to do this and get your bolts of doom ready. Del. Ruby, thanks. Okay, now we're ready. Don't forget to pick food from the feast, huh? Oh! It actually drops. Wait, what? It drops things that act, or no, that's its resistance. That's not the buff it gives us. It gives us camp supplies. Okay. Oh yeah, I should soul coin with Carly. That's true. Uh, three left. I don't have a ton left. You know what? Just in case, I'm not going to soul coin here. Moment. What I'm going to do, though, is all these camp supplies we were going to send to camp. I mean, a bunch of this is actually stuff to sell, but... I don't know if there's anything to do anymore with the um, 
the infernal iron. She might be a little overweighted with the gold. Mm. And what are you wearing? What are you? What are you holding that's so heavy, Carly? We still have the rune powder bomb. You know what? I've got to remember that uh, Shadow Heart now, because of her strength potion, can actually carry a fair bit. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Did we ever visit the uh, the Forges of the Nine Hell or whatever in Act Three in this save? Actually, I'm not sure we ever saw. I don't know if we visited Damon in Act Three. Yeah, it feels odd, but I'm gonna come downstairs. I'm gonna play the piano. So I was gonna say, what was the point of entering this ballroom? This door, interestingly enough. Obviously a door. All right. Is still a thing. Definitely did because all the watchers are dead. But no, that that's the I'm not talking about the um I'm not talking about the Steel Watch Forge. There's uh, the there's the forge where Damon works in Baldur's Gate. No one stopped me yet. Okay, I'm I'm wondering did I miss something over there? Never wanted the easy path. Because this is clearly. Keep your distance, darling. No time to rest. Yeah, I don't. I don't think I did visit it, which I'm just realizing now. Very well. Oh, I'll give it a door over here. Okay, we'll get back to you in a second. Party planner. This seems to be the working notebook used by certain Chamberlain Dufay to plan Cazador's gatherings in the mansion ballroom. Functions are divided into two categories, those for invited guests and those for involuntary guests. The entertainment for the latter category seem being considerably more sinister than the former. The final handwritten entry is below. Master has ordered a special party, a final feast, he said. This will be my ultimate test, but I'm prepared, and I'm sure the guests, both invited and voluntary, will be thrilled to participate. Okay. Coagulated blood. Blood bank, uh huh. Like, we're gonna turn off these candelabras. These two paintings are identical. I can't reach them. There is work to do. They don't have hit points. Someone there. Moving. There's still the throne in the main room. And then there's this dais. Well, I don't think Mage Hand can reach things up high, can it? Maybe it can. your years living in the palace, this is the first time you've ever seen this antiquated elevator. This was Cazador's private wing. No one was ever permitted in here but him, and the poor souls you brought him to feed on. 
There are some scuffs to show its age, signs of things dragged onto it over the years, but it seems to be in good working order. Okay, well, I picked leave. I don't know why I'm getting such a black screen. There's no hit points on this. I'm gonna go sit in the throne. I'm, I'm still weirded out by the fact that this whole climb basically was empty, save for a silver key. That door, that door's open. Oh, right, that just leads there. I guess that's worth considering, the idea that maybe the button on the other side does something. You go here. I should mind my step. I mean, just in case. If I hit this button, I'll close this door. Does it do anything over there? Oh shit, it does. Well, hello. That's weird and unexpected. Not a sound. Counting house safe number one key. Oh, we could open up more safes. More cloud giant strength. Okay. Dot, did you, was that really just a, a random ass guess? Ballroom invitation, I think. Uh, Lutness, you've been recommended the Tsar Mansion as a musician of both talent and discretion. We have need of both. Consider yourself hired to play a fet in the fashion a mansion ballroom on the first evening in the next 10 day. Dress is reserved rather than ostentatious. Chamberlain Dufay, be prepared to play requests. Moving. Right, it doesn't matter as long as... So this this door had started opened until I'd gone and done some things over here. A long road ahead. How strange these doors are... One day I'll catch a break. Swapping? Like, what would be the purpose of that? I wonder... I wonder if this is sort of a, almost a, a hint, a warm up to something we're going to see later. All right, I'm going to go and descend down here. Bed buttons at my house, I'd never wire them up like that, right? Like, how bizarre. Standing on the elevator's platform, you can feel a cold draft from below. All right, let's descend. like two side areas in that room that didn't seem to have much purpose. Although I need to get a silver key out of climbing the tower. All right, let's go stealth mode here. Oh my God, it's fast travel point. Although ironic, I cannot fast travel from here. All right, well, out of sight, out of mind. Don't look now. Is this a button or no, just flavor or something broken on the ground? Just something broken. What in the heavens? I never knew any of this was here. Um, okay, just like old times. From this one, I'm gonna, I can jump down level. Oh, there's one on the other side too. Okay, let's do this one. There's none over there. Okay. 
Let's do this, and then what we can do is we can cross over and go there and then jump down. What have we here? Voices. Oh, it's just another big freaking sealed door. And then the other walkway down there. Entombing clot. This door is impassable to anyone without the correct ring of passage. And we have a signet ring, but I suspect that's not what that is. Okay, let's go this way and hop down. I'm ready. Uh, I don't think I gave you Featherfall as one of your Sork spells, and I'm kind of regretting it. Dell could have just flown down, but are all the critters coming down too? Not... Oh, there they go! Finally, maybe they'll make it down. Maybe they won't. That might be worth a look. Wasn't expecting a dig spot. Be wary! This place is trapped. Oh, this dig spot has a trap thing in it? I haven't seen that before. Hell or Sun Blade. Undead Bane. Act attack rolls with this weapon has advantage against undead, plus one to hit. It's a rapier. No time to dally. Is there any reason? Go for a good meal. I don't know. I feel like it's not light, so you can't two hand it without the dual wielder feet. So really the only person who would take advantage of it potentially is Shadowheart. And I mean obviously we're gonna be fighting undead here, and getting advantage would be quite nice. I wonder if it's worth replacing the, the spear of night. My faith Just for this area. Oh, it has a built-in radiant boost as well. Okay. So damage go up. We do lose plus two to hit, but we'll have advantage as long as we're attacking undead. I don't need any of the other things that are going on on the uh, Spear of Night. Maybe then? It's still glowing as a trap. That's interesting. What a day. There. Not all of our pets came down. Annoyingly. Because why would they? Is that blood? No, never mind. The Tourmaline Depths. By Lady Incognita. It was Master Vampire Donella Sar who reopened the vast blue-green halls beneath Baldur's Gate and brought them under our control. But what is the history of this subterranean expanse and how far back does it go? Not even Donella the architect knew for certain, but in her notebook she speculated the depths were originally dwarven built by exiles from Berendon, although she admitted she was no scholar of dwarven history. Though deeply delved, the halls were certainly more of an outpost than a city, Donella wrote. Though if it was established as a facility over a mine, what were the dwarves mining here? A larger question is in this writer's mind is how do these abandoned depths go undiscovered for so long under a great city like Baldur's Gate? Were they deliberately hidden by some kind of persistent glamour that finally wore off? We may never know. Well, a cloud kill, okay. Over there. Oh, spell components. Now, Druid, are we? We are a circle of the land. We are spell casting Druid. We did start off as a shape-shifting druid, which is really what I'd like Del to be, 
The problem is being wild shaped. It makes it hard to have conversations. And therefore, I do not like um, the wild shaping stuff for my main character. If I wasn't playing a druid, ooh, that's just locked, which we might pick or we might be able to use the silver key. If, um, if, if I personally, as my main character, wasn't playing a druid, and let's say I had Jahira Helsin in the group, I think they would be excellent candidates for shape-shifting druids. There's a button over there. But yeah, for my main character, I don't want it because I want to participate in conversations. Okay. Locked door and a button. Well, let's hit the button because it's a button. Oh! Kind of subtle. But I guess that's an elevator maybe back up. One person at a time. Anything else changing with the button? Not that I can tell. And okay, it is coming back down. Okay, let's check out this locked door. Even as a companion, wild shape companion conversation would be awkward. Yeah. So, it didn't use the silver key. I need to remember to change my armor after this. Okay, I was expecting it to be difficult. I didn't realize how difficult, but we do have, like, good bonuses. The advantage, and of course Steve's good. Did I? Wow. What was that, nat two? On two dice. Oh my god! A two and a three on two dice, come on! Yeah, I think... I must have rolled a, a, a two, like a one and a two or two twos. Seriously, come on, game. So after six rolls, the best we rolled naturally on our D20 was an 11. Okay, 14 will do it. What the frack, man? Well, I'm happy we had the advantage from uh, our outfit. Gloomy Ascent. Okay, but... Quietly. And there's clearly a quest marker over there. Oh. Hang on. Did it not? All right. Oh. Oh, I can't walk on this. Okay. So it's not an elevator, which is good, because like the size was gonna make it awkward. We'd probably have to do multiple trips. We hit the button once, maybe it'll unlock something useful for us later. Let's do the gloomy ascent. I'm sorry. All this was just to get to the back door of the frickin' sewers? Yeah, this is where I'm at the, the party girl. Okay. Still don't know what the button is for, but maybe did... Wait, so wait, so how am I gonna get back up then? I guess I can use the... I can fast travel back. But... If you come in here... From the underground... I wonder... Oh, does that just keep going up and down on its own? I wonder if I can jump on this. I can't walk onto it. But I'm wondering if it's a valid jump target. Don't linger. How many people do we throw on this?
Ah! I wonder if I could have jumped there. Rip the rest of your day. This is an elevator simulator now. He's turn based for this. I can see why. Okay. Neither seen nor heard. Merge. Stealth everyone. Uh, ungroup. Into the shadows. Step carefully. You know how the ghouls are getting up? Yeah. It might, I might just need to come in here to do a quick loot. Crystalline lens. Oh, to make a potion. Clown giant. Okay. Meditations of a vampire lord. The Journal of Cathador Zar. It records the movements and actions of his spawn with particular attention paid to Asterion. Every order, failure, and punishment is recorded with cold calculation. Only the most recent entries seem to betray any emotion. Asterion failed to return from his hunt this night. Godi informed. He will have the pliers ready when the boy shows himself again. Still missing. I would not be surprised. The boy has always been troublesome, but to disappear now when we are all but ready, it's an unconscionable even for him. I've dispatched the brood. They will find him and bring him home, and when they do, I will make him scream for this. It has been days, and he is still missing. No amount of pain has motivated, motivated his brothers and sisters to find him. It seems Baldur's Gate has swallowed him whole. I'm searching further afield, but my reach outside the city is limited. In the meantime, the hunt continues here. My spawns fail me. Asterion eludes me. I will have my due. Scroll of names. <coughs> Names, thousands of them. Many of the surnames would be familiar to Baldurian, though some of those near the beginning of the list are of families now long disappeared. There's a list of names of people dating back centuries, but continuing right up to present day. On the pillow rests a skull with a scroll clamped in its bony. I really want the party here for this. The skull's empty eye sockets flare with an eldritch gleam. You feel invited somehow to witness the skull's memories. It seems urgent. The skull's memories rise and unfold. Let them wash the over you. The skull is all that remains of the vampire Velios. He turned Casador, gave him the gift, and then taught him the rules of vampiric existence. I'm trying to memory. What is Velios' first lesson? Man, I want people around to do buffs. <laughs> um, Your fine. attention wanders for a moment, and you miss the import of. I wonder if I can do it again with someone else if we get them up here. Health recalls when Casador reached out to a former friend. His punishment was to watch as Velioth drained his friend dry. I don't suppose. Hmm. You're making me sweat. Any chance it could be as simple as F the elevator? To keep focused. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the elevator is more of a hint that there's stuff up there. Bit of caution never hurt. Breathe deep and move. Hey, look! Here, you're gonna get Al's wisdom and guidance. Second lesson. Valioth's second lesson is that power comes from solitude. To share with others is to be weak. And to be weak 
is to fail and die. I wish I knew what the first lesson was. When Casador rebelled against him, Casador suffered 11 years of impalement because he failed. I'll trade a memory. What is Veliath's third lesson? I want to save this for something that feels more critical. You let the shock of impalement allow your focus to waver, and Valiot's words drift away, lost in the mists I'm of time. I'm kind of bitter, though. Valiot recalls Casador, his lessons learned, killing him in the right of perfect slaughter. How they both laughed. Valiot recalls Casador boiling the flesh from his skull. And then, to mock him, clamping his schooling scroll in Velioth's jaws. The skull's eyes flash a final time, and its jaws sag open. The scroll with all of Casador's rituals is yours. Velioth is no more. I wonder if... Even his precious oh. rule. I wonder if knowing those lessons is going to be important for some final encounter, which is a little annoying that we didn't get it, but I'm going to scroll with the rules of the Black Mask Scroll. Unfurling the scroll reveals a list of most of foul rites and rituals, detailing all the ways death can be turned to one's advantage or simply made more interesting. The Rite of Perfect Slaughter, the Liturgy of the Dead, the Sacrament of the Damned, and many more strange accursed rituals cover the parchment. The final entry, however, is familiar. The Rite of Profane Ascension. O oh, piteous dead, O oh, ravenous dead, immortality is your gift, but darkness is your prison and hunger its jailer. The Rite of Profane Ascension. <laughs> I, I really wanted to say gay-wooler, gowler, but it is jailer, right? The Rite of Profane Ascension will release you. Walk in the sun, suffer not from hunger, grow your power beyond anything you imagined. A pact has been made with the Lord of Hellfire. Deliver unto him 7,000 souls, each bearing an infernal mark, and you shall be free of your chains. You shall know true power. Deliver the souls, speak the words, Ecce Dominis, has animis offero in sacrificio, nuc volo potestatem quam policitus es mihi. So, we have, so each bearing an infernal mark, right? Asterion has a mark on the back in infernal. Is it possible that Cazador has tried to do this with 7,000 vampires spawn up into nine? Well, minus seven or however many were left, right? Well, now minus Asterion. So 6,999 vampires spawn up until now, marked with this on the back so that he can become a vampire that has no resistances to anything whatsoever. And if so, can we put the mark on Casador's back and have this apply to Asterion instead? I mean, he can already walk in the sun and everything, but presumably that's just because of the Mind Worm, which once we get rid of, he won't have. Interesting. Ooh, journal entry. Found a scroll describing the ritual Casador wants to perform. He plans to sacrifice thousands of souls, including Asterion's, to ascend and gain incredible power. Or maybe he's got, like, a bucket load full of souls ready to go. Okay. Eternal Cruelty. For my sins, my soul was made ink and written onto this parchment, where it scrawls crawled sleeplessly for eternity unless you free it. There's a soul in this? What the hell? I know the um, ball spawn one isn't new. I don't know if this one is. Power structure, Baldur's Gate. Oh, yeah, I think we've seen this before. Letter to Merle Alcum. Merle Alcum, I suppose, as you say, that you have reason to be proud of the expansion of the vampire circle in your city. Of course, Athkatla is more homogenous than Baldur's Gate, and you face fewer challenges from other factions and law enforcement. But still, accept my kudos on your progress there. Enjoy your success while you can, Alcum, for I'm afraid that very soon it will be surpassed by my situation in Baldur's Gate, definitively so. I'm on the verge of long-planned transformation that entirely changes the rules of the game. See, why do you gloat before it happens? Too long have I been content to be merely a major's... Major's cities... Major's cities, Vampire Lord? I think there's an extra apostrophe S here. 
when I can be so, so much more, and I shall. But that's all I'll say about the matter at present, young, young Alchem. After all, we mustn't give away the surprise entirely. Over there. Okay, I don't... I still can't go through that gate. There wasn't anything else here, right? No ring of any kind? And that was just the up and downy little elevator thing. Just like the door to the ballroom upstairs, this door features no keyhole. Oh, I do have a signet ring and various words. I probably could have used the other doors back there. Doi. I was thinking I need a different ring. The ring slots perfectly into place. Shit, do I need to backtrack? Assailing you with pungent, musty air. Oh, this is backtracking. Okay. Because this is where we came in. And then this door here. Okay. Maybe I accidentally did this in the right order. Let's see here. Just like the door to the ballroom upstairs, the ring slots. Ooh, that one's red. Arcane barrier. I don't know. Approaching the cells, you're met with hollow-eyed faces. There's an almost physical stink of decay and neglect. God, these poor people. Is this how you used to live, Asterian? Asterian, do you know who these prisoners are? I don't even know what this prison is. He hid all of this from me. And the others. If I had to guess, I'd say they're part of his ritual. That we're in the are they vampire spawn whose souls have already been sacrificed? I know you. You're the one from the tavern. Uh-huh. You smiled and joked and got me drunk. You... <sighs> You're dead. You called me so many sweet things. My name sounded like a lyric on your tongue. Sebastian. You remember me. You were handsome. Shy. You'd never been kissed. You taught me how. And then you destroyed me. So that's going well. It can't be. Perception failed. Who is he? It's not just him. I know so many of these faces. They're my... The Lord looks angry. Conquests. I pursued them. Seduced them. And brought them to Cazador. He told us he was feeding on them. But he turned them to spawn. He turned every last one so we'd have souls for this cursed ritual. How long? What? They might still have their soul in them, but just be very just drained and emaciated, but... How long have I been down here? Asterian answer will set you free. Stop whining. The only thing that matters is killing Cazador. I'll let Asterian answer. 170 years. Whoa. Whoa. One of my first. My family. That's not my what I expected. <laughs> They're gone. You took them from me. You took everything from me. I mean, we're not going to set them free. They're a bunch of vampires spawn. 
We can't do that. Stop whining on the thing matters killing Kazura is responsible for all this. I mean, sort of, but, and I know this is like sort of going to, it's kind of going to hurt my soul. But I'm thinking about not taking one of the dialogue options and just being like, we need to go now. Yeah. Oh, Ava's definitely playing Pal World today. Cool. I mean, she can play on her own. It's fine too. But if she does set up the multiplayer server, I might hop in. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to say three. Like, we need to go now. We've got to, like, stop this ritual. We've got to find Cazador. That's what I feel that Del would say. There's no escape. No escape for us. And no escape for you, Astarian. This nightmare. Never Harlack disapproves. Ends, it's your fault. Why? Because I didn't offer to free them? You take this, damn you! I damn you to the hells! I damn you to misery! I damn you! What the curse of the cider? Cursed by a victim, he brought the Kazdor many years ago. A Starian receives disadvantage in all saving throws. Okay, so I can see the value of having done the uh, the dialogue choices there. But the threaten felt out of character for Dell, like that the exact, you know, the stop your whining felt not quite in character. And setting them free felt wrong, so tough patooties. Disadvantage on all saving throws is brutal, though. Um, yeah, we need a cleric in here, but I might wait until after we interact with a few more people, because maybe we'll get cursed more than once. So we'll see. I have a lot on my mind, and well, in it. You set them free and kill them? I mean, maybe. That God's maybe. Above. He kept Sebastian. I feel ill. Oh yeah, this is the game where I don't have the risky ring. Hang it. They're here. Because here's the thing, the risky ring, when I saw it, you know, the sort of tabletop D&D player in me was like, okay, obviously advantage on all attacks is great. Disadvantage on saving throws, that's too brutal. I could not justify wearing that. As it turns out, and maybe this applies in tabletop as well, but in BG3, like, it's fine. The risky ring is like a god tier item. But I think we just sold it because I like I don't want to wear anything that gives advantage. What's funny is that if I had it, Asterian would probably be wearing it and he wouldn't care about the disadvantage on saves because he'd already have it. All fools and villains ever fell for my ploys, they're here. If what you told me is true, that's a colossal sum of souls. Did Sebastian hurt you in some ways? Dude, probably the answer is no and not relevant and like, no. Are you going to be alright? You know, if what you told me is true, that's a colossal sum of souls. There's only one reason they'd all still be here. He must need them for the ritual. Yeah, no backseating, please. Each of the seven, we, we must have brought in a thousand over the decades. I mean, that tracks. They're all lambs for his slaughter. And if I was to take his place, they'd all die by my hand. <laughs> Everyone who ever trusted me enough to let down their guard, innocence, Idiots <laughs> and the unlucky. It doesn't matter. I would need that was to very uh, Dr. Frankenfurter there. The unlucky. We the said that. Doesn't matter. I will need to sacrifice them. I want to perform the ritual. So it's interesting. We maybe I could have clicked on him after finding the scroll to have a conversation about the whole ritual thing. Um, it would be interesting to have a question, an exclamation mark after we found the scroll about the ritual. Because in my head, as soon as I saw it, I'm like, yeah, we could. Pro that's probably something we could do with Asterian. But it felt like in character, we haven't had that, that conversation. And clearly, that's one of the two paths we can, I'm assuming, take. We can either just kill Kazor and done and done, or we can perform the ritual for Asterian. Now, in my opinion, like all these vampire spawn, I think probably have to die. But then their souls should theoretically just go wherever they're supposed to go, which is very different than completing a ritual to send them all to some sort of devil. You can save them. It is Cazador's cruelty, not yours, to have kept them alive in this way. I mean, that's entirely true. 
Don't think about them. Focus on yourself. I mean, I'm going to say two. Like, you, Saren, it wasn't your fault. You were you were vampire spawn. You were a thrall. You were you were very much forced to do all this, where you're bringing all these people here, um, you know, to be fed on, or as it turns out, much worse. I want to say it's it's not your fault, Casador. Thank you. Yes. This will all be over soon. It's just sickening seeing them again. I don't know what else. All right, let's see who's over here. Oh, it's not starting a different conversation. Oh, that is Sebastian. Some reason I I'd assume this was are these kids. Cass, Chessa, Andrik, Vanya, Misha. Like, I don't want to get cursed again, but. Chess, I'm hungry, Chess. Presumably, I could open this door. Well, actually, I don't know if this is the uh, signet kind of doors. Let's just move on for now. I guess I'll remove curse now. Oh, wait, that was my last remove curse scroll. Um, we can't fast travel out of this. Dang, I guess we're just gonna have to deal with it. All right. I wonder what the next move is. Paladin doesn't get reverse curse, do they? Well, I don't have third level spells. Maybe if I was a straight up paladin, then maybe. But I'm not. I'm a Sorkadin. Don't touch me. It's fine. I'm sure we won't have to make saving throws in a boss fight. Oh, maybe if I clicked on the door to talk to the kids. Let's see. I mean. Hey, you. Oh, okay. Thank you. It's you, isn't it? I remember that stupid head. Hey, the hey, head listen, you. Pallid skin. You recognize the faces of the children you took. Punk ass kid. Camp on Cazador's orders. You better watch out. Our parents will be here soon. And when they find you, they'll... Oh. You know that pain well. She's feeling the same hunger that's plagued you for 200 years. What? What are you looking at? Your parents aren't coming, but I am. I'm here to save you. I thought you'd end up like this. I'm so sorry. You, you're adorable. Hurts, doesn't it? The hunger. So it has been established. Again, we were just talking about this earlier. Asterion doesn't tend to like it when you help people, but he does seem to like it when you help kids. So he seems to have a bit of a soft spot over there. And in this playthrough, I don't think we're going for an ascended Asterian run. So I want to say I'm here to save you. I wonder. I don't know if we've read lore about this. And I don't know how it works in D&D. &D. And I. I'm just wondering if I kill Kazador, who made all these spawns. Does it unvamp all these people? Also, I don't know what kind of implications that might have for um, Asterion. I don't remember if we've seen any lore for it one way or another. And I assume if it was the case, we'd actually see this as a dialogue or some note. It's like, if we kill Kazador, these people will be able to return to their lives. I'm assuming the answer to that is no. But I don't know. And I'm definitely not asking chat right now. And I haven't looked over. And I'm hoping there's no spoilers one way or another for that. Because I feel like Asterion might want to say, I'm here to save you. I don't know. I think I might go with four. I don't know what tone he means it in exactly, but I think he's like, maybe he's at least, this is kind of a sympathetic kind of thing. Like, it's like, it hurts, doesn't it? The hunger. Like, I know what this is like. I, I feel for you. I don't know if that's the tone they mean it in, but that's how I'm imagining it in my head. As if you care. You're the one that did this to us. You're the one that took us and offered us up to be Cazador's spawns. Yeah, I'm assuming it's not reversible. Now I'm here to make amends. Yeah, I don't know. Isn't it wonderful? Vast improvement. I regret it. regret everything. If you're a spawn, then you understand how hard it is to resist Cazador's regress. You know, I, I... I don't know if it's a stage of the grief thing or whatever. There might be a little bit of a bargaining here, like... He's come face to face with his victims, and I think he's going to try to say... he's. He does think it's his fault, but at the same time, does he want to try to argue that it wasn't my fault? I suspect this is going to lead to another curse. 
Make amends doesn't make sense. Wonderful, no. I regret it. It feels shallow. I'm gonna go with four. He's he's gonna say I had no choice. I had no choice. That's what he's gonna say. But did you have to kidnap us? We were supposed to. Where am I gonna get oh, cursed more? We spent our whole lives training, studying. You were the one we were supposed to kill. Now we're no better than you. Worse. At least you get to roam free. Actually, to free you, you want sympathy because you can't hunt like me like your parents did. Quit whining, your vampire spawn now and spread me a human. And roam free I shall, goodbye. We can't free! We can't loose a bunch of vampire spawns upon the world. I think even Asterion knows that. Or does he? Does he think they should be freed? I don't love two. I hate three, and I don't really like four either. I hate, I hate all this. I mean, yeah, maybe we can free them and kill them. Maybe that's what happens when you hit one. Um, Maybe he just says that, but, you know, he's lying. Or maybe he means it, and then the rest of the party's going to be like, no, 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 that's not what we're going to do. I mean, yeah, that would be so many vampire spawn. I guess there's something he said for two, you know? Like, what, you're bitter that you can't hunt me? Like, you could be being a little bit hypocritical in a way. I don't Maybe, Maybe he'll say two. I don't know. My parents. I wonder how they're doing. I don't love any of these. You can tell themselves when I free you. Dude! <laughs> they miss you, probably. Don't think about it. That life is behind you now. Better off. I, I'm going to go with three. Don't think about it. That life is behind you now. And we're not really committing one way or another to anything, but... I know. We thought we'd figured it out at first. We could just stake ourselves with sharp twigs from the gutter and be done with it. But well, if you want to die, I can help with that. It's harder than it looks, even when we managed it. All it did was paralyze us. We tried twice each, just to be sure. Here's for you. It wouldn't solve anything anyway, not for your parents, not for you. Well, keep trying. <laughs> just leave. Uh, uh. People want me to save three. <laughs> uh, maybe for now we do just lie to them. Just so we don't get cursed anymore. I mean, this is... This is not an unreasonable answer. All right, fine. We're going to lie to them and we'll figure out what we're going to do with them later. Here to free you. You want to free us? Why? Oh my god. Simple. I save your lives. Your parents stop hunting me. I can't bear to see you suffering because of something I did. Uh, maybe maybe Asterion feels that way. Like the rest of the party may be like, dude, we can't unleash a bunch of vampire spawn in the city. But Asterion might see this as his way of making amends, is actually going and freeing these people. Not going to let Kazdar take advantage of you like he took advantage of me. I mean, yes. Because you're a vampire spawn, you should be out in the world feasting. No, good point. There's no reason to free you. It's safer for everyone if you stay right where you are. Okay. Asterion is going to say two or three. Oh my god, I need the stress hoodie. Asterion's going to say three. <laughs> Whatever. He's, Asterion's going to fail this roll is what's going to happen. Oh! Oh! Okay. You, 
Just don't curse me, kid. You're not kidding. Huh. So what are you waiting for? Let us out. Uh, I need to find the key to yourself first. You know where it is? cazador has got this stuff. Okay. Kill Cazador, and then we get to choose what the, what happens. If you get it, you can set everyone free. If you get it. Yeah. Somehow. Yeah, all right. Um, I'll uh, I'll totally free you once I have the staff. Good luck. If you fail, well, I suppose we'll be seeing you again in here. I mean, we didn't get a disapproval. We also didn't get cursed, so that's good. Tread carefully. Right. All right. I mean, we're just gonna walk in like a bunch of badasses. Is what's gonna happen. You find this more stressful than War Hospital? Yes. I mean, I'm assuming a big fight's gonna happen here. Interesting, so many little side routes. All right. Just walk in like a bunch of badasses. Saren really doesn't like being in the front for, ooh. Okay, things have become visible all of a sudden. These werewolves don't count as undead. You got sacrificial lambs. Entity can't move or take actions, bonus actions or reactions. If Kazador draws power from all the spawns bound this way, three times he will ascend. I have... So, non magical. Okay, doesn't have a crazy set of resistances. Um, I don't know if we've got anyone who can make daylight spells on command, which might be a little bit annoying. On the other hand, with 270 hit points, a hasted Karlak might just be able to rip through him in one round. Um, listen, I'm going to take a very short break right here. I'm going to go pee. I'm going to go refill my glass of water. I'm also, we got an ad block starting in a few minutes. I'm going to manually run it now so it doesn't interrupt the fight. I encourage everyone to get up, stretch, hydrate. And when we come back, we'll, I'm assuming, put this dumbass into the ground. So, we'll be back in a few. Where's my button? Right there. Be right back. In my head, <laughs> just rethinking the conversation with like the trap vampire spawns, you know, Nasterian finally said to the kids like, yeah, we're, we're going to free you. And he like probably looked over at Dell, like we'll free them, right? And Dell's like, sure, sure, buddy. That's exactly what's going to happen. We're totally going to free them. 
And then as soon as the staring turns away, he looks over at Shadowheart and he's like, like not to be cruel. We're not unleashing 7,000 goddamn vampire swans into Baldur's Gate. Let's hope there's an option C somewhere in there. Yeah, we'll, we'll free them, exactly. Now, I do, just like with the uh, the Vaconia thing, we're, we're going to walk in like a bunch of badasses, even though it's not necessarily optimal. I will make an exception, though. I will degroup um, Shadowheart. Um, because ideally, I don't know if it'll happen because it's a boss fight and there might be like no time to certain waste. things. Um, I was gonna, I'm gonna make sure to explicitly pull her back Unnoticed. in stealth mode over here um, because I would really like to hopefully be able to go get off the haste um, immediately. And since she doesn't have like super high dex or alert or whatever like that, she might not be able to have the speed. So if we can avoid having her be instantly drawn to the combat and give her an opportunity to haste, that would be ideal. Um, I guess I can do I can do this to relink you, right? There you go. What now? Okay. What if we can sick seven thousand vampires in the absolute? I mean, that's an interesting option. That okay? See, Dell might be convinced by that kind of argument because ends means etc cetera, etc. Cetera. It's like maybe the vampire spawn are a future problem, but for now, a Staren's just gonna walk in like a badass. Who stands before us? Is this truly our prodigal son? Hm? Do not slouch before me, boy. Have you no respect for yourself? Look at you. Crawling what back screenshots? What are you talking about? You should be just so pretty. Forgiveness. <clears throat> Get back to not intervene. Uh, we know all about the ritual here to stop it. He doesn't owe you anything. Asterion was afraid of you. You're pathetic. Now, again, I'm just going to let the... the That's a cool-looking staff. I'm going to let the companions shine, just like with Shadowheart, with her stuff. I'm not going to say anything. Yeah, I think the Mace of Sunlight is back, back in our uh, chest. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Well, in the Mace only um i think only does regular light around us although it does have a chance of blinding undead which is pretty useful anyway it's fine it's fine forgiveness you've never forgiven anything every mistake every slip was punished i strove for perfection in all yeah, the mesa disruption yeah even those as imperfect as you you have such a stupid little snivelly voice to so little despite my efforts. No. No. Fuck you. And fuck everything you've ever done to me. All right. Drop the F-bombs. We're here for justice, and you're going to pay. See, if I'm here with my paladin later, I might butt in there. We're here to stop the ritual. Careful, Listeria, don't lose your head. No, I'm not going to say anything. I suspected you would return to me changed. Never did I imagine you would be so wretched. Oh, thankless child. Did I not bless you with our immortal gift? Did I not make you what you are? You son of a bitch. Captain one very Captain America, yeah. Whoa! Whoa! You truly forgot my power. You truly thought our bond as creator and creation was all that stopped you from killing me? Hmm? Oh, you are weak, my child. You are a small, pathetic little boy who never amounted to anything. But today, you will finally Wait, do Where's the renegade option to click? You will burn, and I will ascend. Was oh, he joining the sacrifices? <gasps> no! Stop him! Get me out of this! Witness the birth! Of the Vampire Ascendant! 
We're not going to have a staring for this fight. He's going to take his action. Okay, we're going to use Psychic Dominance to get the free counter. I'm not, I'm, and obviously if I'm doing this, I'm not using a spell slot, but I don't want to pull uh, Shadowheart into this if I can, because I'm hoping she stays out of combat. Although I don't like that he walked towards us. Are you done? Are you done your turn? Are you done your turn? Are you done your turn? Don't bring Shadowheart into combat. Okay. Those runes are leeching the spawn's power and sending it straight to Kazador. Okay. First of all, I think you can come here without Asterion. Yeah, you can totally, you could come here without Asterion. And that would presumably mean Asterion wouldn't get pulled into the ritual? Or does he get pulled into the ritual from camp? This will be very interesting. When, when I'm here with my multiplayer group, the four of us, obviously we don't have room for a companion. Huh. Because like in our multiplayer group, we did like the, the, the House of Loss. We did the Vaconia thing without Shadowheart because we're full. Wow, okay. So first of all, you got some new shit going on here. Ritual source is seven. Your movement's increased by seven. You receive 700 temporary, or 70 temporary hit points. Your attacks and spells deal additional seven to 70. Okay, so 70, 10 necrotic damage. After draining a vampire spawns life force. After. Ritual drain Yusin. Okay, 2d8 health. Asterion, bonus action, Violet, an extra 5 AC, and currently you got Potent Mist Form. Immune to non-magical physical damage and resistant to magical damage. Possibly blindfold, blind foes within four meters and do damage. Conditions removed by sunlight. All right. These... Hmm, I figured these runes would be attackable. So... So, Deliria isn't giving you a buff. Unless they cycle and change. It's Yusin. It's these three back ones. And Violet and Asterion that are giving you buffs. But then there's some generic stuff from just having more of them. How do we approach this fight? And these ruins I thought might have hit points or be attackable. I wonder if we stand in them. Do we hit? Temporarily hostile. Maybe he must cycle who he drains from. So he's done three of the or three of these one time each. Saren's incapacitated as part of a praying ritual until helped. Oh, just a help action. How do these others feel about that? They don't they don't have that same thing. I'm sorry. Were we getting boobies in there? Okay. It's not genitals. I guess are they like they're probably fully naked normally for the ritual. Alright. Since Ooh, yeah, you barely stayed out of range. Um, since we clearly can't be hasting a Asterion right now, I will twin haste. Oh, I'll have to move forward for it. As I say, Karlak and myself. Thing is, as soon as Shadowheart moves forward, she'll probably end up getting spotted. Uh, that's actually really annoying. Okay. Um... I think, I think I'm just going to have to do it. Shadowheart's just going to have to move forward. And, yeah, be like super download the initiative order. Uh, so much for my, my pots and pans. Now what are you going to do? 
I mean, I guess Del could still go and haste Karlak. Now, there's a lot of people clumped all over the place. Del could also run up and drop like a big insect plague. We could start with a chain lightning, which might be a decent idea. Maybe chain lightning over here. I mean, it'll hit some bats, which might be a waste. Unless I just call lightning. Yeah, I'm wondering. Now with, with YouTube, I'm, I already set a, um, I already set a, a nudity thing on it. So hopefully the, this doesn't cause problems here. Turn around. Um, oh shit, you got resistance to all the things. Interesting, I could use the teleport order to get to... Right, because help action. Maybe Del should just prioritize getting over here as quickly as possible. Between fly, misty step... What a teleport arrow, I'm not sure the range is going to be enough. And I need, I'll still need my action to do the help. Because fly does act as a little bit of a movement multiplier. I could fly to here. It's like, it's kind of weird. Okay, I can fly to here. I might be able to misty step to him and then do an aid action. Um. Okay. It's because I entered the miasmic. Whatever the heck. And we're out of movement. Yeah. Can I misty step right next to him? Uh, that's click heels. So the answer is yes. Um, there you go. Click spot was a little awkward there. Nice. Okay. That's going to help a lot. Presumably. I don't like the order of the shield spells here. My level one is down at the bottom. Yeah, we, um, uh, it's entirely possible that we can clean this up in three rounds, so speed potions might be the way to go. I'm going to rage to start off with, with, um, with Karlak here. We might follow up with, uh, with the speed potions, but her first round bonus action is going to be the frenzy. And we'll probably try to clean up these ghouls here. I can't remember what happens with this. What does Nauseate do? Oh, can't take actions. That's actually really annoying if that affects us. This does give us 10 turns of Dazzling Ray, but I'm not sure that there's no way that that's the best moves for her. Oh, and we would get this advantage from the aura anyway. Although we can counter it with reckless attacks or whatever the heck. I don't know. Let's, you know what? Break it. Let's just go. Need to learn the hard way. All right. Oh, wait, was it this aura that was giving me the disadvantage? Anyway, I don't have disadvantage anymore, so I'm getting pure advantage. Great. <laughs> Not gonna use my get to use my bonus action. Um, so that's that. So we just beat the hell out of the. Oh, they got super resistance. 
I think what we need to do is maybe like clean up some of these smaller numbers first. Like clean up the ads first, and then figure out what the hell we're doing next. So you're just gonna run over here. Whatever happens, you're running over here. Well, you're immune to nauseous. Good. Was it because you made a save, maybe? Yeah, we'll find out if the others can be helped. Next turn. Go, ghouls, go! Yes! Target the guy who's going to be completely immune to all your damage. I wonder if these bats will be like the raven and do like blinding attacks or something? Like, what's their deal? Well, they're dead. So, well, these are dead anyway. Maybe the one would be helpful. Kazadar killed his daughter. That's true. I mean, they all might be a little bit bitter about the whole... Wait, you're trying to not just kill us, but literally condemn our souls to infinite torment in the hells? 30 repost damage. So good. Well, now you're not in the position to do the twin haste. So that might be fine. She can Celestial Haste herself, which is great, because if you break concentration, there's no real cost to it. Um, that is an action, but of course she will then get another action right back. What I'm thinking is I'm just going to do this. Shadowheart's going to haste herself, probably use Misty Step to get closer into these werewolves and skip over the, uh, the nausea and then just smash the heck out of them. I think we're going to do that. Trigger this, use an action, but we get an action back. And yeah, I don't want to I don't want to walk through the miasma. Well, actually I can go here. This seems fine. And it will pass through the mist. Oh, you're immune. Okay. Well, that's all right. Um, I think I might start intentionally using the Divine Smites, even not on a crit. Try to front load some damage here. And bonus action. Oh, you can't. Interesting. I counted as a cast, spell cast. So I could Tempestuous Flight. These guys have all the resistance, huh? I'm wondering if I have to go and kill these things. Let's just stay here. And I'm gonna try to take care of the the, the smaller freaking sleeping attack on uh, immediately. So Staren misses his action this round. Oh my god. Have I not suffered enough? Okay, this guy's attacks are crazy. I'm so pissed that you went and slept the Sterian. Only a quarter damage here. Well, maybe we just start unloading a bunch of damage on him, but then, yeah, we gotta counter the freaking... Well, this is gonna bounce around. Attack of opportunity? Wait, are you telling me I'm gonna have to move for this? All right, tell you what. Immune to sleep. This is an elf, I don't know. Apparently, not the way we'd like it.
Oh, am I blinded? Yeah, I could drink a potion. Carlac's going to drink a potion of speed as her bonus action this time. And he does so much damage. Unless she just goes and sees if she can just beat the crap out of one of these things. But again, they have all the super resistance too. No one seems to have, like, there's no one with the weakness. And I mean, other than, like, some sunlight generation shit. I don't have the daylight spell with this group. Honestly, I should have. They were just respect Shadowheart out of being a paladin and being a pure cleric again for this. I mean, unless we've got scrolls of daylight, but no. if we just beat the shit out of these guys oh you were annoying with your sleep spells and anyway, you're doing the eye bite and you're concentrating on i bite asleep yeah hold on hold on hold on Want another? that's what we're gonna do sunbeam does like pathetic damage and it doesn't actually create daylight i'm sorry did you just hit him for 70 points of damage oh he's vulnerable to bludgeoning oh is he ever about to have a bad day <laughs> All right. And that's it. I'm thinking. Oh, that's disappointing. I'm just going to keep her sort of centered up here so that next round she's got all the options. Attacking from shadows. Get bonked, skilly boy. At least the Starian's back up again. <clears throat> Leave a couple of small guys for the ghouls to attack? Uh, maybe. I mean, I'm hoping they finish the bats. I don't know where the hell they're going. Yeah, they're dashing. You could have attacked these guys! Instead of getting an attack opportunity, where are they going? I don't know. You could have attacked those. I guess that's the, the flaw with having the automated minions here. Or if the boss could go and attack them, it'd be great. That'd be lovely. All right, you're concentrating in self haste. Finish off this one. Um. What's my attack range? Oh yeah, you get the uh, advantage versus undead, which these are not. There's a chance, it's fairly small, but there's a chance you don't kill them in one hit. Okay, let's use a smite just to make sure you go down. Actually, there's technically still a chance the smite doesn't kill, but it's pretty low. Okay. You can't reach Kazador. They even have resistance against freaking. I, I, I wonder what happens if I were just standing on the ruins. Because I haven't done that yet. Maybe you should just kill this guy because you do have advantage. I 
won't let you do this. I won't let you win. But I've already won, my boy. All the pieces are in place. The ascension is inevitable. This location's kind of a little annoying. I feel like a Starin just wants to unload on this guy. Too bad I can't Hunter's mark him right now. Uh, if this guy's threatened, we can probably get sneak attack damage on. Mini target? Oh, I don't think I can see this one. All right, fuck it. Start attacking this guy. him and then he can't heal which is good i'm assuming that stops his regeneration yeah maybe i underestimated how much damage i could do to this jerk ass are you not misty forming in well we'll see blight you know what f it i'm gonna counter spell it you don't deserve to have nice things Somehow, well, I guess I'm probably willing to hit a ghoul. Okay, what's annoying is he doesn't get a little glow around him to show that he's being targeted. My thing is cast a spell and then I can just go and um, use my uh, sorceress movement thing going around. Let's upcast call lightning. Oh, I can see there's a tiny little circle underneath them. It's so small, but it's there. Sorry, generic ghoul number three. Then we can tempestuous flight. A little anyway. Time for opportunity. Oh. I think I, I, is it doing the glitch thing or is it because I'm going to have to move because tempestuous flight is supposed to move without generating attack of opportunity but every now and again it doesn't do that I'm not blind because I was able to target the spell over here I'm not blinded I think it's yeah you say that see you think it's a bug it doesn't actually trigger an attack we've been in that situation before and then we did it and we took an attack of opportunity and we're like well what the hell man Let's try it. Okay. We have been hit by it before. And it's frustrating. Although maybe in that case it was because they had to move a little first for some range stuff. Very well. I'm sorry, what just happened? <laughs> Hang 
on. I want to look at Dell. Did I move out of it again? Something does happen when you stand in these ritual circles. Um, listen, Carlac, you need to drink a healing pot, man. Receive condition lost. Your movement increases by one. You, yeah, okay. So standing in those spots is good. Um. What the hell, Carly? Oh yeah, but on a miss, you'll be able to do the advantage, which will end up um, canceling this out anyway. Carlac really only knows one thing: smash. And she does it well. Oh, he did heal. This son of a bitch. <laughs> So the arrow of Almater appears to have not made a difference there. Oh yeah, I used the bonus action to drink the potion. He doesn't generate his own um, attacks of opportunity. Well, this jerk ass would if I move directly, but I can, I'll have enough movement to move around. So after having done that, go and stand in this. Presumably cancels one of his stacks. Okay. All right, so our ranged people should definitely go there, and we've got enough summons and shit to do this as well. Uh, who is the other... This one, Violet, had a named one. Uh, I guess you can attack first. Anyway. I'm not trying to target self. I just have an impossibly large hitbox game. Ugh. The ghouls have... I can't control the ghouls, though. But the summons... The rest of the summons will definitely have a use. Okay. I hate that there wasn't there wasn't an obvious targeting for it. Otherwise, I would have tried to go for these things earlier. Yeah, whatever. Carly's gonna deal with you. Yeah. Tell me I can still reach this asshole. Lord Kazadar is being targeted. I got advantage and I'm using maximum rank smite. Not maximum. So unless it crit and it did crit, but right, I already used it so it didn't trigger. Maybe since I'm running lower on spell slots, I only got three left. Maybe I won't manually use it. I'm going to hopefully wait for uh, for crits. She does have haste going on. She's got advantage, so it's a lot of rolls to try to get some crits off. And then bonus action would break her concentration most likely. Oh, wait, the Radiant Heal. Then we can use this. She's fine. Actually, Asterion's fine, too. That's concentration. That's concentration. Right, she can already get advantage on attack rolls versus undead if I wanted to cycle this, but she doesn't need it right now. Nah, you know what? I think you're fine. I don't think we need to use a bonus action. And the ghouls just keep exploding. Um, camera, have you zoomed out enough? Is it spawning more bats, or have these really just never been dealt with? I feel like more bats are showing up. So, I definitely don't want to be in the threatened aura with Asterion. I would really like to Hunter's Mark, so I'm going to avoid using a bonus action. So I'm just going to step back. Eden attack for opportunity. Hunter's Mark. Although now I'm like, oh, maybe I should need to heal. That is targeting Lord Kazadar, not some stupid elemental or anything.
Um, most of these would splash to an enemy. Although, I guess I'll use the arrow of many targets again. Still hasn't actually been used. There we go. And <laughs> they all crit. Excellent. Lovely. Is it... Is it that it uses the full action to use the arrow? Oh, it's still working. Okay. And then you're not actually hasted. Um, I, right, I used my bonus action for this. Maybe I should have bonus action to drink the potion. Although the Hunter's Quarry is good too, because it gave me a bonus to hit and a little bit more damage. Combat log for that is nuts, yeah. Multi-attack on a stair. That's going to be bad for a stair. Oh, good, you missed there. Oh, good. That's really, I thought a stair was going to go down. Which is going to be fine. We're going to be okay without it. Um, so he's still there. Dell, you're still concentrating on your lightning. Step back into here to cancel that again. And activate our upcasted chain lightning, or not chain lightning, but call lightning. And then I know this isn't going to heal much. Well, I mean, it would heal more if I upcast. You know what? Forget, let's upcast it onto Asteria. Really doesn't heal much because we don't have synergy things for it, but uh, I'm wondering if I'm gonna have to fight these others afterwards. Um, So I'm gonna have to leave this circle because obviously we're gonna go and whale the shit out of Kazador and probably kill him. Part of me would love to get the killing blow with Asterion here, but at this point, we just have to embrace the, the murder death kill. Yeah, I mostly just use um healing word exactly like that, the, uh, to bring people from the ground. But I thought in this case, maybe it's worth giving a little bit of extra because healing word heals so little did we hit all of these are we getting anti x 2 hp can i get some 2 hps in chat now i could bonus action frenzied strike i'm just wondering for safety if maybe the better thing is to bonus action drink a speed potion so i get more attacks this would be a single attack whereas bonus action speed potion would give me another two attacks although hold on Mermidon. the guy i make fun of all the time for being unbelievably annoying. You've got an action, although that will go and tweak this, but uh, it does give you disadvantage. Oh wait, did you get the temp HP back immediately? You've got the plus 50-50. Is there anything in, that happens in this circle? No. All right, Karlak, it's go time. F it. I want two swings. Hey! What just happened? Did it auto end her turn? I mean, she was out of actions and bonus actions, but normally, well, here's, hold on, wait. What I was wondering is, did the game think that I was out of actions and bonus actions, even though dr using the bonus action drink the speed potion gave me an extra action? But even if you're out of actions, it asks you to end your turn. Did she already have two actions? No. No, she didn't already have two actions. She wasn't hasted. And it still shouldn't have auto ended her turn. Oh, she already drank one. She already had haste, so I gave her lethargy. Is that what happened? She had already drank the health, the speed potion. I think I thought someone else had drank the speed potion, but it was her. So I lethargied her and it ended her turn. Okay. If, if she already burned through the lethargy, though, that's not the end of the world. I may have been able to optimize the overlap a little bit more, but I guess it's okay. All right. Fine, fair. Shadowheart, you've got advantage. I think, did he get his temp HP back when I left this circle? I think that's what happened. I think as soon as I left the circle, his temp HP regen. All right, whatever. No more saving spells. Okay. And he's got two plus two equals dead. 
spell failed? What? Okay. We found Kazador Czar. He plans to perform a right. Uh, he must be stopped. Rescue Orange victim. That's bizarre that that showed up again. We defeated Kazador, who retreated to a sarcophagus to heal. He's vulnerable now. All you need to do is open the sarcophagus lid and finish him off. Okay. Not the right moment. Oh, okay. So we have to finish off the bats first. Is that what you're telling me, game? Time to press ahead. Careful, I mind. Yes, let's. <sighs> Enough sitting around. Let's go hurt someone. I was gonna say, I feel like a cutscene starting. There he is. No, no, no healing soup for you. Wake up! Get your hands off me, worm! Staring being bare ass naked for this would be funny. I'm not the one in the dirt. Do we ascend him? One last thrust. If he wants to be ascended, that would be like a more powerful ally would be good, right? Thinking I was thinking I was gonna save it for an evil campaign, but maybe not. Okay. Oh, the souls. I the ritual you started. I'll never have to fear anyone. Ever. Oh. You think me a fool? That I would allow anyone to usurp me, speak the words, and ascend in my place? Hmm? The runes I, I carved into your flesh bind you and all 7,000 souls to the ritual. I mean, we knew this from talking to Raphael. The scars will be sacrificed. And we scar him, you but that doesn't get rid of ours. You are simply a means to We flay end. ourselves. I made you to be consumed. I am so much more than what you made me. I can do this, but I need your help. Well, first of all, if I help you complete the ritual, kill those people. But also, didn't you hear him? If you complete the ritual, you'll be consumed. I'm going to start with this. And I, make, I made a quick save before doing that. I guess you can make more quick saves. They all keep around. I'm going to start with this. If you complete the ritual, you'll be consumed. I want to hear what his solution to this is. <laughs> Trust me, I know what I'm doing. See, the killing part of this, Dell isn't necessarily too concerned with, because at the same time, he's like, well, we probably have to kill these vampire spawns. It's not the killing that he's opposed to. It's the question of what happens to their souls. Well, I'm going to say two and see where it goes. If I help you complete the ritual, it will kill all these people. These people died years ago. See, and I, I agree with that. that. Or whatever. Left feral exactly. Exactly. For blood. I agree if with that. Release them, how many people will they kill? Yep. Tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands. I agree. We're not going to release them. If I complete the ritual, think of the power I'll have. With me by your side, we can, we can save the city. And Dell's all about the ends. We can save ourselves. Well, I kind of want to do this insight. Because why not? Look into his eyes. Try to see what's driving this. That'll cancel my all lightning. That's fine. 
I'm not gonna incite this, or um, I'm not gonna inspire this. All you can see are those eyes you've seen so many times before, pleading with you to help him. When you live a life you're proud of, you can't be proud of this. No, nope. I mean, I kind of wish we had a discussion about the souls. But I'm going to say Asterion has made a persuasive argument for his case. All things Dell, from what we know about Dell since the freaking beginning of this game, has been this. He's certainly willing to go through it, so it's not one of these like, oh, I, my, I'm forcing the path of, you know, badness on you. I'm going to say, all right, what do we need? And we don't want to release a thousand spawn. Like, my thing was, we were going to have to go and kill these vampire spawn. I thought killing them might, you know, release their souls somewhere else, but rather than damn them to the hell. But I don't know what's happening. Maybe their souls are already damned to hell. You know, Dell's not a theologist. Theologian. All right, what do you need? I need your eyes in a manner of speech. I already gave up one eye. What do you think you are doing? I'm making what you make. Ah. Me. Wait, do you need me to carve this shit? Link your mind to mine. Through your eyes, I can oh, okay. see the scars on my back and copy them onto his. Okay. You would not dare. Oh, he would dare. I would. He would dare. And I will. You will be consumed, and all the power you've lusted after will be mine. At the cost of a lot of lives. It's not worth it, Astarian. Help me do this. Please. Yeah, if no one mentions the soul, that... yeah. Enter Asterion's mind so we can proceed with the ritual. Again, as f these we we think that these lives are already forfeit. They're just crazed vampire spawns that are going to go kill a billion people. We've justified it. Like, again, part of me wishes we were having a discussion about the, what's happening with the souls of this ritual. But all right, we're going to enter Asterion's mind so we can proceed with the ritual. I, I'm not going to like seeing the um, Shadow Heart dis, um, disapproves. Your minds join and your two selves become one. You can feel the knife in your hand, see the scars on his back, and taste his hunger. Of course, we're just making another vampire, but he'll be our vampire. Yes, I see it. We'll give some more XP. We're XP capped, so, you know. Don't! Ah! All right, this is pretty gory. I mean, not that I mind bad things happening to Cazador. Dude definitely has it coming. some coverage okay it's hard to see it but there's some coverage kill them. 
<laughs> oh no, Garlic disapproves! I need the safety hoodie. Ah! He stopped Shadowheart previously. He's not going to stop Asterion. But double disapprove. Again, what else were we going to do with the vampire spawn? Well, part of me is wondering about... This is very cool. About not going through with it. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> have we just become Team Evil. Um, not going through it and then, like, going back to the vampire spawn and be like, Okay, what now? Well, that let's set them all on fire. Stomach. That hunger... It's gone. That's true. If the hunger's gone, he doesn't have to go and kill people anymore. I'm finally free. Oh... Oh, it feels delicious. Oh, Karlak looks so angry at us. Oh, no. She's so pissed. And Del really kind of looks pretty evil. <laughs> um, there's not some, some I, I can though, if there were all vampire spawn, I don't feel, I don't see the other solution. They, I couldn't let them live. Let's turns out we'll go to the next room. We'll find a book that's like, oh, wait, here, here's the cure for vampirism. Oh, oh, well, whoops. Mistakes were made. <laughs> oh, I thought it was like, I thought it was going to be, can I become a vampire ascendant too? <laughs> you did it. I can't believe you did it. So ne what now? What can a vampire ascendant do? I kind of just want to say two. Three is interesting too. Like, I want I want the download. It's okay. I can look at your character sheet later. I'm just gonna be so. What now? Now. We deal with the elder brain. I agree. I no longer require its parasite. Because the parasite was letting him walk on the surface. And for all. If we'd done the elder brain before this, he would have been stuck, sort of like at night beating on people, or we would have had to kill him. Well, I mean, I guess he could have kept being sort of vegetarian vampire stuff, but... All right. What now? It never works out. Okay, we got some items and shit. Oh, Wool may have been the staff. Let's have a talk with Hysterion. <sighs> Talking Twisted Del story. This is it. The hopeless dream dreamt by all of my kind. I am. The greatest vampire to ever walk this land. Even the pale knight would have knelt before me. Did his eyes change? You are magnificent. Has your body changed? You may have power, but your greatness is yet to be proven. No more Cazador. Isn't that a relief? Isn't that why you were really doing this? Maybe. <clears throat> no more Cazador. Isn't that a relief? Never again. I will not think about him. I don't even want to say his name. You don't sound too happy. Can't hurt you anymore. You don't sound too happy. Everything has changed. I felt so very little. For so long. My edges dulled. Over the numb years, rotting in the... Power corrupts, but so do we let the tadpoles. Now, I can hear it at last. See it at last. How oh, all the lowly creatures of this plane are begging... Oh, no! <laughs> ...how to call upon them. Scurrying footpads in there. Oh, that's what you mean. Rats below our feet in their filthy holes. 
the crows in the night above. Yeah, yeah. So, so you got a you got a point in animalism discipline. Maybe two ranks. Well, obey. The world will stir. Yeah, see, this is not the tone I was hoping for. Embrace it, show fear in your power. Appreciate the power of someone you kind of perish for you. I, you're, you're starting to scare me. You're starting to scare me. <laughs> this is but the beginning. I already hear the world whispering in sweet surrender. And I feel alive. <laughs> Vampire Ascendant. Behold the Vampire Ascendant. Thousands of souls have brought you power, granting you Ascendant, Bite, and Gaseous Form. You also have 1d10 necrotic damage bonus to weapon and unarmed attack rolls. Well, shit, that's insane. Yeah, so first we'll deal with the Elder Brain. <laughs> Maybe we'll have to find something here. Um, huh. Did you actually get more powers? Oh, I've got Del selected. Trust no one. Misty escape. Transform tiny rent wrist. It can't fall. Fits through small openings. Very hard to damage. Lasts until long rest. Recharges on a short rest. Transform. You can't attack, cast spells, or that. Ascendant bite. It's got a new cool graphic. 3d6 necrotic. Refreshes on a short rest. Uh huh. This is fine. No one back home. I, I made. I made good choices, you guys. Completely good choices. DLC, BG3 DLC, kill us into this Darian. Gradually seeing Quill, you made a freaking Klaus. Let's have a look. Uh, spoilers for Vampire Diaries. We're not going to go into any more details. Um, so we gained Woe. Did it? Watch did the pick it up as part of the thing? Yeah, there it is. Whoa. Okay. So, it feels like a caster staff. So you gain plus one bonus to spell DCs in the spell attack rolls. Arcane Vampirism. When the creatures affected by your spells fail any associated saving throws, you regain hit points. Plus two, Blight. Bound weapon? Oh, so you get to attack. Can't be knocked out of Wielder's hand. Automatically returns when thrown. Still I don't alive. feel, as cool as it is, I don't feel like it's necessarily... I mean, it's not worth giving up the um, the arcane battery stuff and cr uh, well, arcane battery is fine because the free cast. It's the Kreska's favor from Marco that we definitely wouldn't want to give up. If we weren't, uh, um, if we didn't have a shield proficiency, I'd be looking to get dual wielder and potentially considering running Woe because the arcane vampirism is kind of cool. Yeah, we're gonna have a chat at camp. Well, actually, I can probably have a, a talk with people right now. I can face anything now. Let's get back to the hunt. The camp conversation is going to be awkward. I suppose the Starian is part of the vampire aristocracy. She's totally mellow with it now. I She's already really adapted. doesn't expect us to bow to him. So we're knocking around with the vampire lord now. We sure this is a good idea? Well... This has not been exactly the vampire, the, the good ideas run. Uh, this isn't just any vampire lord, it's Asterian, our friend. Do you propose abandoning him? No, I'm not sure we can trust what he's become. I mean, yeah, I kind of want to say that, but he's he's right behind me. So I'm going to say, it's Asterian. He's our friend. I hope he still sees it that way. Something tells me he's not the same person we knew. Not anymore. Yeah. I kind of agree. I think we may have switched off his humanity. At the ready. Kikoskia, thanks for the raid. Um, you just missed a lot of drama llama here. Uh, we may have made some very, very poor choices just now. <laughs> but it's fine. 
it's it's fine. We're just gonna keep telling ourselves everything is fine, and we have not just unleashed a great evil on this world at a cost for seven thousand souls. Again, you know, no one brought up the souls, so I'm sure the souls were fine too. And we we're gonna have to kill off all the vampire spawn anyway. We couldn't let them run around in the world. Oh, these are probably just more cells over here. Although this path is empty, which is interesting. We're gonna just look around and see if there's any more loot. It's fine, and I think we're gonna go and kill an elder brain now. Poor choices are fun choices. Hang on. Scrolls? Invasion plan for the Sword Coast. I think this is the same as we've seen a million times. Vampires before Velioth. Our illustrious predecessors, brief notes on the succession of va master vampires in Baldur's Gate by Lady Incognita. I wonder if we'll recognize any names. I was going to say, maybe we could recognize... What was the name of the uh, the vampire lady from Baldur's Gate 2? can't recall. Mm -hmm. One you can side... Um, Bodhi, Bodhi, Bodhi. That's who it is. One you could side with instead of the, the Shadow Thieves. Yeah, I think that's it. So, is there a shortcut out of here? Or am I just going to walk back up the stairs? This is an, all a no fast travel area. Let me know uh, if anyone knows in um <laughs> it didn't cost seven thousand strolls are still in there, just condensed them down to fit one job. If anyone uh has knows of anything that I'm missing before I walk out of here, go ahead and let me know now. Again, for those of you who just joined, we are um pretty like, you know, no spoileries, you know, limited back seating kind of thing, but we we can Oh shit. This is fine. This is this is fine. Everything's okay. Relax. This is fine. Like a good We're just gonna walk up and talk to them. I oh, did I miss looting Casador's body? Hold on. Glad I looted everyone. I had hoped you would choose the better road. A fool I was to ever hope a beast like you could be saved. Oh, please. Oh, it's an Asterian spot. That's why I didn't notice it. I promised you Cazador's death. And I'm more than... Because, yeah, Cazador's supposed to have a really good, um, like, offhand weapon. Spawn whilst I was at it. You should be thanking... See, we're, we're heroes! We did the right thing! The trouble. We don't have to fight. We can work together. I need Asterian strong to save the city's lesser evil. Well... I don't think there's anything lesser about Asterion anymore. Walk away, Elmal. Your tribe doesn't need to die here. Okay, see, Del still thinks he's doing the right thing. We don't have to fight. We can work together. Del thinks he's doing the right thing. No. There's no working with the likes of them. <sighs> Look at the hate in their eyes. We gave you a choice, and you chose power. As your kind always does. But... I still have hope for you that you will make a better choice. Will yeah, I don't do good choices. Evil? Will you help us destroy this monster? Oh my, I can turn against Asterion right now? <laughs> no, 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 I know. Again, Del. Some part of him is still the diplomatic druid that we started this whole thing with, right? That used that was the name of our series. And I said, I can't. There has to be another way. There is not. <laughs> My dear. I wouldn't. Asterion, keep the evil on the down low, please. You're embarrassing me in front of the normies. Kill them all. No choice but to keep going. This seems like an excellent spot for an insect plague, doesn't it? Oh, I can't actually, I can't hit all five. Four is the best I can do. You know what? Then I will do this because it'll give an angle for our melee people to get in there. Uh, I got chain lightning ready yet. No, we'll do this first. We can chain lightning next round. 
they'll just uh yeah just run around the corner here can't slow down um I don't think a staring needs to use a bonus action so we could go in hunter's mark although you know what this is gonna be a trivially easy fight never mind it's fine I'm not even gonna bother 99% to hit I love the heroic music that's playing right now. I'm feeling so heroic, you guys. Stand your turn. Come at me. I'm not gonna counterspell it. It's not his new teeth. It's true. Oh right, and it would heal him some too, wouldn't it? Rhinus, what's your moral alignment? Well, it actually fits perfectly well with Del. Because here's the thing with Del. He does try to be diplomatic, which includes trying to do the things his friends want. Um, he's a little bit naive to... Um, like, he's not very street smart. Um, he's got a certain type of wisdom, but not so much when it comes necessarily to reading people or whatever. He mostly believes people when they say things. Um... And third, he believes it's very important to save the world from this elder brain. And he's, he, you know, to a certain extent, believes the ends justify the means. He certainly has felt that for himself. He's decided to take all the sacrifices uh, on, you know, he's we've got none of our companions have eaten a brain worm, Nothing but Dell's eaten them all, <laughs> which I'm sure, again, is going to work out perfectly fine. Can't give up. Not now. I don't want to target self. You and your stupid ass hitbox. My turn. All right, Karlak, let's go kill these people who are totally bad guys. Come on, Cole. in for a penny. Show them who you are. Oh. I don't think <laughs> watch us lose our paladin note. I don't I don't see how that's gonna happen here, but um may as well walk up and finish off Casavora here. There'll be enough room to really get in there. Great, but we're out of spell slots. We don't get to do a critical smite. What a shame. Okay, the Mirrorman has so many hit points. Well, especially with the buffs we keep putting on there. Okay, some people want to see the new bite in action. We have both bites now, that's interesting. Uh, but we actually... Well, I got the Misty Step, but it would be awkward getting in here. I don't know. We, we've got to, right? Uh, oh, wait. Hold on. This is a bonus action. I was going to say if I Misty Step... But no. Yeah. That does so much damage. And now he does the extra um, necrotic damage as well. Like, look at this. 22 piercing, 2 acid, 5 necrotic, and a little fire damage. And a partridge in a pear tree. Staren brings all the damage. The only way out is through. Well, I, I was going to chain lightning on Dell's second turn. There's not much to chain to anymore. Yeah. Here. Oh, there's range issues. Magic is a few times. I was gonna say it'll trigger the uh No! Stop! You're taking insect plague. Who better to test these new powers on? Uh-huh. And who better to be standing by my side than you who helped me get them? Kinda feel a Staren's just gonna wanna make us 
his pets after all this. Hey, good looking. Lucky. This is all fine, right? This is this is fine, right? Tell me it's fine. Where to? The greater good. Are you still overweighted? Hang on. Split the stack of gold. And, uh... Send some of that to... Uh, Shadowheart. And then I have to remember that Shadowheart's quite strong. Okay, let's go back. Because I guess I did maybe miss looting Kazador's body, which I guess was over there. <clears throat> yeah, because like we got the staff of woe, and then I looted all the bodies that were in the middle, and I mean that's in the cutscene. That's where Kazador ended up. But someone said that maybe the body was actually still sitting over there. Might have still had some loot. And yeah, I remember there's. Yeah, he's not actually here. Um, yeah, he is over there. I remember reading that there's some sort of uh, weapon because I I look at the the BG3 builds all the time. I try to avoid spoilers, but. But in the builds, items get mentioned. Yeah, this Rhapsody gets mentioned all the time. <clears throat> Scarlet Remittance gain plus one bonus to attack rolls, damage, and spell save DCs for every foe you slay up to a maximum of plus three. And I think it might just stick around for the whole day. Sweet Bloodletting, possibly inflict bleeding when hitting a creature with this weapon. Plus one. Now, the Scarlet Remittance, I believe, works even when you're not... It, you don't have to use this weapon to do it. So every time you kill someone, you get the stacking set of bonuses that goes up, 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 up. So, um, I mean, it's very appropriate, I would say, for a Starin to use it. Plus, he doesn't have a good offhand weapon at all. Like, we've never bothered to replace it because he doesn't he doesn't melee ever. Right? The Ambusher's useful because it gives him plus one to, advan uh, to initiative rolls and advantage in perceptions. Very handy. And then Ambusher's Shriek, I believe, is also applying on his ranged attacks. So that's going to be that's going to be lovely. And again, very appropriate. It was the cool knife we saw in the cutscene. Oh, now it, it's no longer red anymore. Now we can fast travel out of here. So I assume, well, yeah, they were just, whoops, they were by the fast travel point. So we can just leave. So let's go to camp. I was just saying, I don't know if we need the long, ah, we're pretty beat up. I have a lot on my mind and, well. Sure. In it. Oh, right, and there was a ring. A long way to go. What was the ring? Oh, is the Sar family ring? Have we left any doors unpoked at that maybe the ring is used for? Gather your allies. Staren's grateful for us helping become vampire ascendant. You can count on his dark magic in final battle. Well, great. I feel a lot less bad about things now. I feel super less bad about things. Find the puzzle under the chest that's in the room. You have to get to the button with the ballroom. Um, Let's see no. what we have here. That does not sound like something I found. The elevator lies ready to carry you back up to the palace. Yeah, the ring's definitely flagged as a quest item. Well, first when I picked it up, I thought it might have been legendary, but I think only the weapons and armor get the the, the legendary outline, whatever color that might be. Puzzle under the chest that's in the room you have to get to with the button in the ballroom. Okay, so that might explain a couple of things. So, um, right, so the ballroom over here. <clears throat> Let me start. Oh, I didn't, Carly's still overweighted. Let me start. Got a heart. I don't know what, what which of the two rooms you mean. 
but I'm gonna hit this button. I'm gonna check the first room again. Someone there. Oh, so this room over here doesn't have much, so we can check it really quickly. And under the chest? What? What? I would have never, never. Is there a hint that such a thing exists? That I'm misreading a book somewhere that would have told us? Keep a blade close. What? Hey. Um. Oh, you can't get there. Wait. Stern, are you stuck? What do you mean you can't get there? That seems odd. Oh, yeah. I'll snooze those ads. Yeah. It had a lock icon, but presumably we had... Oh, that was what... That's what the silver key was for! What's in here? Dread lightly. No, oh, hold on. It's only working because... Get out of the goddamn way. There you go. Leave the door open. Is this where all the other people were? I wonder if I'd come here before the rich. Hold on, let me do another. We can keep going a little longer. Someone's left a trap out for us. Well, again, I'm assuming. Oh shit, that was a hell of a DC. Um, I'm assuming. I thought that was a gas trap. That something sets that off. Are you on a pressure plate? Huh. Oh dear. Someone's left a trap. Uh, God damn it! I should have left the people out of the room. Someone wandered onto the other pressure plate. So. Now I'm thinking that this isn't actually another open door. This is this is like a bad one. That sets off traps instead. Should be easy. Okay, found that accuracy. Um Yeah, I'm thinking there might have been something here another pressure plate there which probably sets off these I'm actually wondering if what I should do is remove the weight from all of these things potentially open the door but let me let me put one on this. No, it didn't do anything here. A lot of sounds going on. No, actually, I don't even know if that's a door. Okay, no, that might not be anything. Wait, did this door close itself again? I think it might have. Oh, okay. And then immediately shut. Don't burn yourself. All right. So the pressure plates trigger traps and open the door. Go. 
Wow. Well, hold on. Let me check the Discord. See what the family stuff's looking like. Yep, okay. We're going to be wrapping up the stream here. We're going to be streaming Baldur's Gate 3 again on Thursday. In addition to... Be careful. There are traps oh. about. There's a pressure plate again we walked on. As I say, in addition to maybe finishing this area... Any other traps? No? Ah. Yeah, well... Austin Kitmaker's confession. After that gloating visit by the Master of Vampires named Kazdor, it seems I believe my incarceration can end in nothing but death or worse. As such, it behooves me to confess my sins, if only in this small notebook, to lift the, their burden from my soul, if that is not granted to me to record the reasons for my atonement. As a child, I was often coldly cruel to small animals that I kept such a while hidden. The youth I teased my sister, Thara, mercifully, unmercifully about her weight and skin blemishes, which I fear contributed to her chronic melancholy upon reaching adulthood. When I took the city accountant's certification test, I feared that I lacked skill to pass, so I cheated by buying an illicit answer sheet. Okay. That just set off traps again, I think. Oh, it keeps setting off traps. Well, isn't that fun? Okay, what we're going to do is we're, we are going to end it here. I'm just going to move out of the way. I thought. Oh, my God. <laughs> so we're going to stop it here because it's four. Thursday, we'll double check that we've got everything here. Camp chats. Go slay, slay the Elder Brain. brain, brain blah, blah. Raphael, F him. F him. Maybe, maybe we, we clean up side quests after and, or reload a, a save or whatever, especially if it like turns out the Elder Brain stuff is fast. But I'm going to dedicate four hours on Thursday to trying to finish off the game with the Elder Brain. Um, Wednesday, uh, some sort of stream starting at 2. Might have been Galsiv, we might do Pal World. Right now, I'm gonna go, we're gonna raid a Kiss for Lux channel where she is playing Pal World, and I'm gonna join for multiplayer. I might be on the Discord. Well, I will be on the Discord, but I'll be trying not to talk too much because my voice is just shattered over here. Um, and yeah, we'll see We'll see what kind of mess we've made with uh, with Asterin later on here. I'm, sh I'm sure everything's fine. I'm sure this is fine. We haven't unleashed a new horror upon the world. I, I'm, I'm certain of it. So yeah, let's raid a Kiss for Luck. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.